limit to the limit. Give everything you got to give, no matter how you spin it. We only get one life to live, and all it takes is a spark to set the night on fire. Release your heart's desire, flames getting higher.
Take it to the limit. Give everything you got to give, no matter how you spin it. We only get one life to live, and all it takes is a spark to set the night on fire. Release your heart's desire. Flames getting higher. And welcome back to the final day of our eFootball Championship Open 2023 World Finals. We started off this weekend with 24 finalists, but now only our top eight remain. Yesterday was filled with emotions and excitement, and of course, that will continue today, live here in Konami Studio in Tokyo, Japan. We will be crowning our mobile and console champions of 2023. My name is Kate, and I will be your host for this event. And with me, I have Sasha and Alex. Please come up to the stage. Hello, Minasan, Konnichiwa. Thank you so much for coming, and also thank you so much for watching. Alex, yesterday was a blast. Every match was so exciting. Completely. It was, uh, you know, the first touch of the first game for most of the players. We saw a lot of motion, we saw a lot of goals, we saw a lot of lately goals that make us really oh, become crazy. But I, I really believe the big one's gonna be today, you know, is where everything is gonna be put there. And, yeah. uh, you know, I think, I'm sure you will enjoy uh, this Sunday all together here. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there are lots of people here also here uh, in this venue. So, Minasan, ne, Alright, Kate. Alright, well you two can get back to your seats and get comfortable. Okay. Thank you, Kate. And I'll get to call in the players. <laughs> All right, let's get started with the opening ceremony. All right, yesterday there were 24 and today there are only eight left. They have had a long journey to make it here and now they are so close and will give it their all to become champion. Let's call them out. First off from America, La Casa! Woo! <laughs> Representing Tunisia, Rami! Coming from China, we have Ronaldo! And then all the way from Brazil, El Misterio! Yeah. 
Next, from Poland, we have Zilo! <laughs> And from Italy, we have Frankino! Next up, from Indonesia, we have El Gagor! <laughs> and last but not least, we have representing Japan, Woody! All right, I wish you all the best of luck. Please get ready for kickoff. <laughs> All right, so before we get into the action, let's do a last review of the world final structure. The eFootball Championship Open is the largest official worldwide eSports tournament for eFootball and is available for anyone to participate. We started off with approximately 20 million participants who have been competing since the start of this year. And today, we have the remaining top eight finalists gathered in Japan here at Konami Ginza Studio to decide who will take home the trophy. Out of the remaining eight finalists, only two will lift the trophies, one from mobile and one from console. Yesterday, the group stage finished and today is the start of the knockout stage. Today's bracket is in a single elimination format where the top four players from each console decide who takes home the trophy. And it is not only the trophy that they get to take home, but each winner will also take home $10,000. Not only that, but the runner-up gets $5,000. Without a doubt, everyone will be doing their very best today. Let's do a last review of what we have in store for today. So we start off with the mobile semi-finals, and then on to the console semi-finals. After that, we will have a short break right before the grand finals. Last thing before we get started, currently there is a viewer campaign going on. So, for the 2023 World Finals, Konami has launched campaigns exclusively dedicated to the eFootball fans. With the viewing campaign at this very moment, you can win 1,000 eFootball points simply by tuning into the match streaming program through a banner displayed in-game. 
Just click on the banner that will appear on your game account and get 1,000 eFootball points directly transferred to your account. All right, it's time to go through both brackets. We start with looking at the mobile bracket. So, we have La Casa versus Rami, and then after that, Ronaldo versus El Misterio. Moving on, we have the console bracket. We have Zillow versus Frankino and El Gacor versus Woody. All right, so let's hear from the casters to see what they think about today's matchups. What do you think, guys? So, Alex. So, Alex, um, yesterday we had a lots and lots of uh, really enthusiastic matches and also tight matches. Um, we have four left. Uh, you know, everybody got a chance to win. Yeah. So, starting with mobile, uh, what? How's your impression uh, of the four? remaining semi-finalists of the mobile. Well, we say we were talking about the favorites, no, any, any, any devices. Uh, in mobile, we had a Holland game in the reigning chamber who went out of his group. Yes. And on the other hand, we have a Mysterio from Brazil qualifying, yes. and we're going to see him later on the semi-final. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty cool on mobile, because uh, we have a great football player um, from America, from Asia, from Africa, yes. and from uh, South America. Yes. So it's like it, it completely, com very complete, no list of player, and uh, we are so, uh, the game, for example, La Casa losing yesterday at the last minute against yeah. Sakti, and then he came back winning both games and going to the semi final, and uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, they, they, that's show, you know, they, they weigh the passion and yes. the way they, they are super professional player. Mm -hmm. And though they hand Rami, which is a really, what like we can say, is like a, the most impressive performance, yes. kind mm -hmm. of. You know, he, he was not talking much louder in the whole weekend, but, uh, right. you know, he's there and uh, wow. No? And the performance is wonderful. And about the uh, console players, there was a tight match. And also, there were only one player from each group uh, qualified to the semifinals. So it was really tight. And sometimes there was only a goal difference, right? Yeah, at that point, just losing a game was completely over for you in your independent case. I'm super excited to see all the game, mm -hmm. especially because from one bracket we have a El Gakor from Indonesia versus Udi, you know, like a, we have a Japanese finalist for sure. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, we have Zillow from Poland, just 16 years old, representing AS yeah. Monaco versus Frankino, which is only 19 years old as well. And it's like a, we have an European from the other hand, so like we have to, you know, a great, great battle between the very best players uh, around the world. And, you know, I think uh, I know the people from here. I know the one who is rooting, that's that for sure. But on the other hand, there is a lot of people rooting for the Indonesian yes. uh, player. And uh, I mean, it's, it's impressive the way they are proving. Um, it is true that most of a lot of good players uh, weren't able to reach that point. I mean, the thing you mentioned about the, the group stage, uh, I'm going to mention, for example, the way that um, El Gakor was qualified, tie on point just by one goal difference. Yes. And uh, you know, but this competition side and uh, only the best can yeah, remain. Exactly. Kate, we see a lots and lots of flags on the YouTube comments, so there are lots and lots of support from around the world, so I'm looking really forward for that. All right, thank you guys so much. Of course, what all the players have in common, though, is that they're all going to do their very best this weekend. Definitely. So, without further ado, it is time to start the knockout stage. All right, first off, mobile semifinal match one. It is La Casa versus Rami. From the USA, we have La Casa. And from Tunisia, we have Rami. All right, wishing you both the best of luck in your match. Please prepare for your match. And now I will let Sasha and Alex take over. Thank you so much, Kate. All right, so it's time for the competition. I mean, it's, you know, we are there. Yeah. The final day. We are going to know today the very best player in the world in mobile right now, in a few moments. But first of all, this first semifinal, La Casa, which uh, 
after seeing him on the stage, yes. uh, where everybody will think that we was not going to be able to be at that point at that semifinal right now. He gonna he made it, mm -hmm. and then they had Rami with four points, Tyon points, make it through the semifinal as well. So it's gonna be so interesting, especially for people at home, Sasha. The how intense are the mobile right. games compared to console? They are a little bit shorter, yes. But at the same time, they are super intense, super important. Every chance to realize to make a score. And uh, I don't know, what do you expect him for, for the game as well? Um, so, um, tactic or, um, or, or the how, how they play, the difference, um, how do you see the difference or how, how do you see this matchup? Um, what, what would be the uh, key point for both players? I think at this, at this point, it's mentally the way they're going to manage their, their nerves, you know, their, their pressure. Because, uh, you know, yesterday was the group stage, you know, even, even impressed to be there at the stage right, right now today, he's full of people and yes. a lot of even more people watching from home. And you cannot lose. And then they realize they are in semifinals. Like they are like one game to reach the, the grand final. And that's, you know, there's a once in a life opportunity for any right. players. So uh, I don't know. I think like Casa have a clearly a way to, to play and to dominate their games. But on the other hand, um, Rami and it will score his chances, and uh, I think it will be a super balanced game, and we are having signal right now. Yes. Okay, it's 4-3-3 three, three for uh, La Casa, and 4-5-1, was it? Yep, it's like a really, really more compact formation for Rami, yeah. trying, Rami? As, as we mentioned yesterday on mobile, you know, he's more just to, to add as much people in the midfield as possible, but on the other hand, you know, La Casa, 4-3-3, three, three, comfortable, and you know, and here we are. Uh, I think as we see a different display in yeah, downstairs. Yeah, a yeah. Bit we're gonna change yeah. it as soon as possible. On the it's left side with the buyer red, yes. we have uh, La Casa from the United States. So, the red one is La Casa, and the white one is Rami from, Rami Tunisia. from uh, Tunisia. All right, kicking off. We're now in the fifth minute. This is Kimish for La Casa, and uh, Kimish for uh, Rami. And so it's a great opportunity for all the African community of eFootball, which is so huge, and especially yes. the Tunisian one, which I'm sure they are supporting and rooting for Rami right now. And don't forget, if the game is tied, we go to overtime, to extra time, and then we have penalty shootout. Exactly. Sané to oh. Cancero. He had the way to go through. Goretzka take it back. And for for the the casa. Musiala. Good Goretzka, one. Goretzka! And he shoots, and, and he is. goes in, goal! For Lami, La Casa, for La Casa, from United States. Goal for La Casa, La Casa scores 1-0. Great build up from the right-hand side of the pitch, uh, trying to accumulate as much as possible player. And uh, it is true, it wasn't maybe the best shoot at first, but you know, sometimes uh, the superiority of that chance made you get that rebound, and uh, Kingsley Coleman, the yep. big time of Kingsley Coman yesterday gave uh, a lot of goals to the players using him, and, and today it keeps seeming like the same. It was great to be there to catch the ball and put it in. I mean, sometimes people say, is it lucky to get a rebound? But when you get um, at this point with a lot of player, I mean, the chances to get the rebound is are high. Just promoting to Musiala, Cancelo, Joan Cancelo to Pavar. For Rami, Kimish. Oh, with bread ball. Eh? To Mane, takes it back, but it's Ooh. an offside. We've seen there the, the idea of Rami to, you know, to, you know, to explore the right and high side of the pitch with Cancelo, which, uh, you know, his ability is crushing, uh, especially for the standing cross. Mm. With those stats, um, uh, it will be really like, uh, you know, one of the keys of, uh, of Rami. Anyway, look at this one. Now, it's not hack for La Casa. Lacasa. Look at how fast he's coming. Come on, on the left side. Ah. <laughs> Took by Pavar. I believe Cancero. he was looking for the double touch instead that trick. Luciana, Supermoting, Cancero, Pavar. Now Cancelo arriving. Ooh. And to the other side to Mane. Let's see, reach Mane it. Coming up That's on the left fine. side, the Frank. Look at that. This is a shoot from Supermoting. Luciana oh. scores. Goal. An equalizer. Now it's a tie, one-one. Yeah, it's clearly. I mean, having Chupo Martin on top, uh, you know, is gonna be his reference, even for those crosses. And uh, once again, this time, 
Yesterday we didn't saw that many rebounds, uh, offensive for, for score goals, and today, you know, twice, and, uh, you know, it's only one game. You yeah. have to approach to, to your chances, and now mentally uh, try to manage uh, the way that you still draw in this first half, and, you know, what a game you are having for yeah. the start of the day. We're only in a 26th minute, and we have two goals. Yeah. If people here really want to see goals, uh, exactly. they're going to have it. Makes it more exciting. All right, kick off for La Casa. La Casa goes Hold through on. to Mane. Is Mane is one? free. Mane is free. And he shoots and it goes in. Goal for La Casa. 2 1. Uh, we saw the left back of a uh, buyer out of Rami. We're running behind following his mark, but that made possible to Mane, you know, to be completely alone. It wasn't a mistake at all, but you know, his player. We're making the the right movement, you know, following that mark, and uh, well, great goal, great reaction. I think uh, that's the most important thing, you know, to take in the lead once again. We see the difference is no Rami looking for have a, a tall and strong striker, and La Casa to have a you know Xavier Manning, which is one of the faster players on the game. Two one. Casa leads. Now it's a kick off by Rami. Oh. Doesn't go through. Davis takes it. Fernandez. Cancelo on the right side. Casa using the time, the lift. Fernandez. Davis on the left side. Back to Fernandez. Kimmich. Now nobody wants to make mistakes. Mane. Sane doesn't go through to Musiala. That's a nice try by Casa. Trying to build up easily. Smooth, you know. Not many. Takes, Goretzka takes it. It's La Casa's attack. This is a good one, eh? Mane to Musiala. No, to the top. Sane couldn't take it. Was coming completely alone on the left side. Right, right side to Cancero. Joao Cancero. No. Ooh. Was that a mid touch? Uh, I, th I, th I thought he, he saw he was going to lose the ball and he tried to do something quickly and that uh, wasn't, wasn't the best. He was completely alone. Sometimes when you made a, a pass like this one, but too early, you, he had not support from his teammates. And uh, sometimes you have to build up a little bit slowly to accumulate as many possible players. Ball went out. We're going to the last yeah, chance. That's ball. Yeah. One more minute remaining. La Casa trying half. to have him for him or, or to not. And it's the end of the first half. 2-1, La Casa leads. Yeah, La Casa is trying, you know, to slow, uh, slow down a little bit the rhythm. Now he's back taking the lead and uh, Rami three needs to make something. shots each, but three on the target and two on the target for Rami. Yeah. So will they make a change? Yeah, Rami have uh, put it into a new AMEF uh, trying to, you know, to have a, a really fresh second line player Some to join the attack. And uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, right now, um, La Casa have Mula the control, in. and uh, but let's see if it keeps like that. This is Müller, passes to Cancero, but Davis takes it. Yeah, so smart to have Alfonso Davis in the left back. He's super fast and can join you uh, these runs, especially with that one of uh, Rami from Cancelo to defend it. Goretzka takes it for Rami. Müller to the right side, Cancelo. So it's from left to right is Rami, and from right to left is La Casa. That's the second half. The red one, red shirt is for La Casa. Cancelo takes it. Ram, it's now Rami's attack. Müller doesn't go through. Now it's time chance for La Casa. Coman takes it on the left side. Great double turn. Yes. And it goes in. Cleared by Rami. That's a great move. The rhythm chain is common. Oh, look. Hernandez. No, it's Chupamoti. Oof. The attendance for Villa. This match was 70, 60 minutes. 30 minutes remaining. 60 minutes has passed. Coman. <laughs> nice try. Pavar. Cancero. Back to Mane for La Casa. Goretzka doesn't go through. He should wait a little bit more. One, two touches to see if he can make the differences. He missed. It's sunny. A long pass to Shippomoting. Let's go through it. Lakasa hold it. 
completely has changed the rhythm in Akasa after the second goal. Coman on the left side. Oh. Plenty of players there. Pavar. It's a throw in for La Casa. Yeah, it will be a pause from Rami. Trying we'll to change. make something. Yeah. Easily come and tell we go in and also Navri. Full attack. Yeah. Fresh for, for him. Uh, no change on uh, La Casa's side. At the no end, change. you know, La Casa has to maintain the level, try to not to make mistakes, and Rami has to find a way to you know to change the rhythm of the game because right now it's not really positive for him. Kind of La Casa Hell is fine. And it goes through. Oh, the rebound. Goretzka, maybe. Müller. To the right side to Nyabri. No, Davis blocks it. Hernandez, but it was a poor pass. Nyabri takes it. This one could be a, a good one. He finished on the left side. Uh, oh, didn't go. Maybe too direct. Goretzka. Musiara. Kimmich takes it. And Coman. That was a poor one. To Mane. Oh, no. The Licht holds it. Oh, that was close. Will be fault, maybe? Yeah, fault. And like a uh, missed rapping. tackle from, uh, from La Casa right. for after lose the ball. They tried everything to, to keep back the ball, but you know, nice. fault. Goal kick. Yes, yeah, 10 minutes left of this first semi final of this ground ball finals here in Tokyo, Japan. Just gonna see who's gonna be the first finalist. Mila. On mobile. Gavin back. Mila. Great. Kimmich wow. takes it to Sane. They're gonna finish. Sane. The lift no blocks it. Look Komas. at us. Blin. Kimmich. To the right side to Nyabri. Look at the cross. Oh, but wasn't enough. Davis yeah. blocks it and it's a throw in. The for stats uh, of Nyabri for crosses aren't the best. He's fresh, but you know, he's not going to be the best Dumbla. cross possible. Pavar! It's a good one. It goes to tail. Where is he? Already. What was that? Oh, a clear. You're going to have one more, it. I think so. There will be one minute. Maybe one not. It's going to be for the um, North American. Ooh, uh, the last one for, will be for Rami. He's on time. He's on time. That was an offside, so it's a free kick for Rami. One more, Sasha. We're going to have one yeah. more. Let's see. Yep. Pause for La Casa. La Casa. Try. Yeah. Changing the defender, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Make it fresh. Better the, the runs of uh, Nari and uh, especially on the right side. Cancelo keep there. All right. Players are Paul in. Banner also the inside. In the field. Number eight. Let's take a look. He has to win the header. Lea if not, it's over. Oof. To tell Miller to the front to tell it doesn't go and through, it. and it's the end of the game. Two one. La Casa wins the game. We have the first grand finalist in North American. La Casa. Congratulations. Uh, Taking you know the initiative during the whole game, first no at the beginning, then the draw, the equalize of uh, Rami. But at the end, you know, quickly at the that kickoff, La Casa took the, the lead again, and then you know he was so smart. You know, yeah. he said he's all like, all right, it doesn't it doesn't work for me to keep at this rhythm. I was going to slow down, you know, and Rami didn't figure out how to manage to change that again. And uh, yeah, congratulations, uh, it was a great great performance. And, yeah. And La Casa makes it. I look at his final. face, he's so happy. Yeah, okay, let's hear from La Casa. Kate, please. All right, we have La Casa here. Congratulations, you're going to the finals. How do you feel? Feeling good, feeling good. I mean, you had a lot of confidence yesterday. Of course, you performed well, you're here today, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, obviously, yesterday it was not the ideal um, um, result I will look for, but I won both of my matches and I'm here today and I performed. Yeah. Pre pretty good in my so yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Alex, do you have a question for him? First of all, congratulations. It's been great, great to see you play at this way. Uh, I was impressed of, at the beginning, you had the initiative of the game, but after the second game, after, sorry, the second goal, you realized something different because you changed completely the, your game style. Tell me about, about that. Oh yeah, definitely, because yeah, I was, after the first goal, I knew, I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, calm down a little bit, it's not over yet, because obviously 1-0 is not enough. But as soon as he came back, I'm like, oh, okay. And then I scored the second goal. Then I started to get into cruise control, play more possession, tiki-taka, you know, control the game and not let um, 
my opponent have any more chances to score on me. Initially, uh, I really like the way you play with uh, Alfonso Davis. What about the substitution? The way like you make it super late? It was something about strategy. You don't really trust on that substitution if you need to score more goals. What about that? Yeah, specifically at the end of the game, is when it comes to like centers like that, I put Pavar, you know, Gravenberg for headers, just uh -huh. because Davies he's more good when he has more energy, no matter how much he has left to catch up with the wingers, the fast wingers everyone uses. So, yeah. Um, everything yesterday we saw you losing the first game. Then you have completely beat everyone afterwards. Uh, any favorite for the final? Uh, you have prepared. You are ready. Oh yeah, definitely I'm ready. I'm ready for anyone who I face, <laughs> to be honest. I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll win. I'll win this. I love well, the confidence. Sure. That's so, great. <laughs> for our side, just to wish you the best of luck and, you know, time to enjoy the final. All right, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, good luck going forward. Do you have any last comments for your competitors? Um, I hope you uh, see you at the Grand Finals and we have a good match. All <laughs> right, thank you so much. Like, congratulations! Right. <laughs> Yay! Well, Kate, okay. what's, what's cool, are you seeing it? That's, I mean, oh, I mean, I'm happy, of I course, mean, another American Your country may make it to the grand final. <laughs> That's right, oh, yeah. He, he plays so good, he plays so good. Mm. I mean, was impressed the way he lost the, the first game yesterday, and then he's back to the grand final. I mean, That's right. super, super great guy, super mm. great player. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be so interesting to watch him later. Yeah, I'm so excited to see him going forward, too. Well, any other things? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward for the next semi-final. People are getting excited and excited, you know, at the end. It was quickly that first game. It's our first contact with today's players, and uh, then the second semi-final, and then, you know, the console. So it's been really, really great game ahead for us today. Mm. And uh, looking forward to see, you know, the way if some of the players have changed something from yesterday, tactically, because today, they had the full night yesterday to analyze their opponents, the way to play today. So I'm going to be uh, looking forward to see what they have prepared for us today. I'm sure we'll have some surprises in store for sure. Well, thank you so much, Alex. You can grab a seat. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And I will call in the players. All right, and now to decide the opponent, we have the semifinal match to Ronaldo versus El Misterio. From China, Ronaldo! And from Brazil, All right, wishing you both the best of luck. Please prepare for your match. <laughs> okay, and I will let Sasha and Alex take it from here. All right, thank you so much, Kate, once again. So, this is the second match. Who will face La Casa? I don't know. The thing is, like, uh, I really love to see those 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 players, the, the personalities which are, are completely different. No, the thing, uh, you know, um, Ronaldo used to be, you know, like under control, everything like a balanced person. Also, playing is super balanced in the way he attack, he defend. On the yeah. other hand, we have El Mister, which is. He's so funny guy, you know, he's all, all, all the time I'm smiling, you know, yes. this is something that the Brazilian have inside, exactly. you know, and then, you know, it's great to him, I, I was following him on social media, I mean, everybody is, mm -hmm. is looking for him, rooting for him in their home country, uh, because, you know, he's huge to be back to the semifinal. Right. And uh, then, talking about games, quickly, uh, well, El Mysterio yesterday, the only one who has beat him is La Casa, which... You know, the funny thing is he's going to be waiting for him in a potential final. In right. the other hand, uh, Ronaldo with one victory and two draw yesterday, defeating the reigning Chap Holland game and mm -hmm. make it to the semifinal. And, you know, I'm so excited to this second semifinal. <laughs> All right. And Ronaldo will use Bayern. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it was going to be pretty cool. I mean, uh, Bayern gives you the chance that, especially on mobile, with the wings, uh, they are super interesting team in terms of for example, Sané with the left foot brings you the chance to make a great crosses. And in the right side, you have also Joao Cancelo with the possibility to be like a right back or even could be like a right wing. Yes. And uh, that makes it a really great complete uh, game to, to take a look. I think both will look for the crosses are the mon most OP game side to use yes. to. And uh, well, let's take a look. It's going to be great to see. 
And uh, yesterday we see a Mysterio on that hand that uh, he's trying to push, to push, to push until he get the greatest uh, corner turret cross as he's possible. And uh, let's see, you know, what are those faces? Right. You think they are confident? They are yeah. focused? Oh, I think uh, Ronaldo changed to Manchester United. No, no, I think they are keep doing testing. Testing? Oh, okay. Because, uh, you know, El Mysterio looks so, so calm. It, right. it is, or he's so confident, or, or we have to wait two minutes more, I think so. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> and how about El Mysterio's uh, AC Milan? Um, if I'm not wrong... I think he's going to use AC Milan. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think no. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to wait it in a few seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. We, we are solving uh, any, you know, setting up everything. At the end, people say that this is so easy to set up, and but you know, at the end, we are having the first ever world final on mobile, right. offline, here for all of you guys, and uh, it's pretty cool. They are making a great head work uh, behind the scenes to make it possible from everybody from Konami involved in this event. And uh, so the champion will be the first ever offline champion. It sounds good, eh? For mobile, isn't right? it? Cool. Global World Champion, you know, it's like, uh, you know, there's something that is for your whole life. And right. uh, I mean, initially, kind of for those players, they have not really the chances to travel around the world mm -hmm. or even to, li to leave your country for yes. events like this one. And it, this opportunity to be in Japan competing against the very best player around the world, uh, looking for that such a shiny trophy, which is yeah. impressive. And, uh, and the, you know, that note to be crowned as a world champion is something that is just for one lucky person today, yes. you know? So El Mysterio came from uh, Brazil, which means he traveled definitely like 24 hours to come to Japan. And it was uh, even more, I think no. I was talking with him, it was like more than a day to, wow. to reach Japan. And I said, man, you have to make it, you know, after that long travel, you have to approach this opportunity. And uh, it's gonna be cool to see their performance. Yeah. Uh, if I, we have the senior right now, here he is. And it's Mysterio. midnight in Brazil, so, I mean... Yeah, it is, is, it is, but I'm sure all the whole family, the fans, everybody is looking forward yeah, to course. see right now this game. Yes. As you see, El Mysterio with AZ Milan and uh, Ronaldo with uh, uh, Manchester, Manchester United. United. Oh, yeah. no, no. Ronaldo okay. United, you know. Yeah. It, is something, nice. it is something that has okay. to, to go together, you know. Here we go, second right. semi-final. Manchester United kicks off, so Ronaldo kicks off for AC Milan. Uh, for Manchester United and AC Milan is El Mysterio, the white shirt. Sane Marquez. Now playing on, the, on defensive, Ronaldo. And you see, left the, left the map on screen. Mm -hmm. One bar defensive, you know, kickoff for El Mysterio or right. counter kickoff. Caragria. Look at this, there is no still space. Holding, still holding, still holding, Caragria. He can do that more. He's completely full. Back to Kea. Dest on the right side. Switching to the right side. Still looking. Tonari, Benacer. Look at that. It's a good one. It's a good uh, one. Uh, oh! oh. Rafael Leal. Great, great. Great Wonderful time. shot. Great by Rafael Leal. Shot. Leal. For AC Milan. Oh, how intelligent are the players? They know who is his main player. This big time car of Rafael Leal. Uh, For his is, corner. You know. Sale Marquez. Mm, great job, Maguire. This one goes to Marshall. To Anthony. Ooh, careful now. And to Rashford. It's Rashford and Joe. Back to it. Doesn't go through. Nice block. Great, great prediction, Mali Mysterio. Sancho. Sometimes on the, for defense, he has to predict where he's going Marshall. to go. Marshall. This one goes. Ooh, Oop, offside. What was that? Was that an offside? Offside. It came from behind. Yep. yep. A little bit. Offside for Manchester United. To defense, in, just not in the mobile, in the whole eFootball, is really completely difficult. And uh, I mean, at this level where the opponent push you till the maximum is even harder, no? And uh, that's the key, no, for most of the player to really defend all the whole situation of any game. Juan Bisaka takes it for Manchester United. Anthony Marshall. Great build up. Great job. Animatis. Running back with silly makers. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> Ciao. Test. To Sane Marquez. Great fake Sane shot. Marquez to the center of the cross. Ibra. 
Calabria holds it and shoots. I love that. I love that high. move. Fake shot, then double touch to run to make that rhythm change. And great, great cross. And you know, as Latin Ibrahimovic was waiting at the second post. De Gea. Ronaldo looks like he's Picks. confident to play the whole game on defensive, try, you know, to defend. I see. And just chain. wait for the one opportunity. Yeah, I go. think so. He knows how good is the area. Rashford to Marshall. And as you see, to play defensive is essentially to defend that, that cross, you know, that attempts from, from Mysterio from the side. Maguire, Bruno Fernandez to Sancho. Sancho passes to Rashford. Rashford passes to Marshall. Care takes it. Shaw is going to be back to the top. Fernandez, Marshall, Rashford, Rashford. No way. The last <laughs> Instead of that, I think if he get, if he got the on the double touch, could gain some more space to then make the pass. But you know, sometimes the nerves, you know, do, you want to make it something super fast. Rafael Teo. Rafael Teo shoots. Oh. Nice block by De Gea. Sasha, every time you see the purple bar, yeah, be careful if you are the defender. That's for sure. Yeah. Great save anyway. Another corner kick for AC Milan. Sade Marquez. Sade Marquez. Kicks in, Sancho clears for Rashford. Back to Sancho. Once again. Oh, that's the counter attack after the corner. Three. Rashford to Marshall. Marshall keeps it. Marshall Great shoots. Ooh, that finest shot was there so smart. Median takes it. And it's the end of the first half. Zero, zero. Yeah. So how was the first half? I was, Alex. It, it was seen like a really good game and not, not at all, a lot of goals as the first semi final, but we have seen the first attempt from Ronaldo. It was a smart shot, right? that final shot from maybe quite a little bit far. That's possible to really score that, that, that kind of shot. New chain for El Misterio, new, new right back, and having, uh, I think it's Calabria, uh, right wing. Let's anyway, see. we are moving on. The game is completely yeah. open. It looks Palulu like who scores is going to win, but you never know. So, El Misterio now attacks from the left to the right, and uh, Ronaldo from right to the left. Now it's Misterio who is defending on, on blue, defending on one bar defensive. Benacer, Benacer. No. Doesn't yeah. go. De Gea takes it easily. Passes to Anthony. Ooh, that was a difficult shot. Now it's a good one for, for Milan. No way. Bruno Fernandez takes it back. To Sancho. Red block from both sides. Back Not to, to Shaw. Miss the ball there. To Rashford. Sancho. A great move. Sancho on the left side. Look at that. Crosses in. Oof. I saw, but I didn't. Finally. Casemiro. To Marshall. This is onside. Rafael Leo. The attendance for this to match right, was 60 minutes has gone. I'm sorry, 30 minutes ago. Serginho Dest at the right wing right now. Looking. All right, Kalulu. Kalulu to the middle end. Oof. Doesn't go through. If that ball goes to Leao, it's going to be dangerous. That was a nice clear by Banan. Carabria holds it. For Milan. Rafael Leao. That was a fake shoot. Didn't go. Shaw. Rashford. Rashford holds it, but Tonari takes it. He's in the fall. Dest. Benacer. Nice block by Casemiro. Now a big chance for Manchester United. United goes. Marshall to Anthony. On the right side. Anthony back to Marshall. We are arriving on that moment of the game where your fingers doesn't go as fast as you can. Because now it's a completely mental moment to decide who's going to be the second grand finalist. Bambisaka back to Anthony. Easily taken by Kim. Ibrahimovic. No one wants to make mistakes. Rafael Leal couldn't take it back to the hill. Ten more minutes. If not, we're going to go through the extra time. Ibrahimovic to Dest on the right side for AC Milan. 
As completely defending well Ronaldo right now. There's no space. There's no space for Mysterio. Yeah. Mysterio yesterday played so fast, but now there is no space for him. Ben Acer to oh, Ibrahimovic. Yes. Casemiro takes it. No. Back to Ibrahimovic. What a mistake. Ibrahimovic to Des. Des is free. Des takes. Oh. Ooh. What was a cross? What's a thought. great idea. Even looking for Real was great. Ciao. Karuru. But great clear by Ronaldo. To Tonari. We are having the last chances. Of the One more minute to go. Half. Karuru. Last chance. Rafael for Mysterio. Ibrahimovic. No. And it's the end of the second half, so we Good go defense. to overtime. And that's it. That's the maximum level at the mobile. You know, they are pros. I mean, they know what to do in every situation. Yeah. That's why we haven't any shot at the second half. You know, you could feel the way that, you know, the pressure. We are having some change. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, the stamina of El Misterio is quite low. But, you know, Olivier Giroud is going through for Ibrahimovic. So, same plan for him. And also, Luca Fernandez as a yes. life wing. Sorry, left wing. Uh, you know, it's clear, no? Now try to make dangerous situation from the left side, looking for the second post cross to Olivier Giroud, the French star. So, starting from Sancho to Elanga! Elanga is free! Elanga! No! Didn't go through! Ronaldo from China had his best chance right now, just at the beginning of this extra time. Remember that home, 15 minutes each of the half times of this extra time to the side. Ten more minutes to go in the first half. Oh, uh, look at this one. It's Rashford. a good one. To top. No way. Once again, Rashford. Great Tonali job by Tonali. To Dest on the right side. For right pass. El Misterio. Giroud. Giroud to Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao. Rafael Leao still holding. Leao against the Back wall. to Giroud. Look at the cross. But there's nobody. Or maybe yes. Dest is still waiting for the chance. A cross. Elanga clears. To Rashford. This is getting more and more Mattel emotional. Takes it. Back to Kea. Passes to the front. Giroud takes it. Last one for the Giroud first half. Giroud. Oh, that was a little bit long. And it's over. And it's the end of the first half of Ooh. the overtime. We are feeling it every time like, Ooh, is there the goal? Is there the goal? But yeah. finally, one defender could it. And uh, it's been great. Look at those stamina. And right now, it's difficult to follow every run. So that's why it's so important, you know, to have something in the back right now. 15 more minutes to go. They're gonna have like three, four more chances. AC Milan Maybe kicks five. off. Ben Acer. Calabria. Calabria. Still holding. I believe ben those Andes. those fake shots and then rhythm chain from Tonali. the Mysterio could be the key. Ben Acer. For making a great pass. cross. Eranga. Eranga back to Rashford. Back to Eranga. That's a one two. But Kayer takes it. For Milan. Oh, that ball. Milan, okay. Hernandez. It's a good one, eh? To Leo. Ooh. Because if he can the ball and make the turn back, you know, it's goal. So that's a corner kick for Milan. New change for Mysterio, trying to make the people change who kicker? goes to attack. Yeah, he's putting Giroud to be in the first post. Because, you know, yeah. right now it's 99 of Heather. So it's completely going to win the Heather if he's in the right position. Right. Still waiting. All right. The Chinese or the Brazilian will go to the final. And there's a substitution. Now we'll go Serdinho Dest for the corner kick. Look at that one. Goes to Giroud. Giroud comes in. He shoots, but that header was a little bit too high. The angle is sometimes difficult, but you know, that's sometimes playing mobile, you could have that those situation where the keeper touches, but the ball going in at the first post, but it was a nice try. At the end, you know, it's time to, you know, to invent yourself, to create something different, something that will make you. Seven uh, more minutes. Be the champ of this uh, semi final. Bruno Fernandez. Look at this Miranda. one. Run. Bruno Fernandez to Anthony. For United, crosses. Oh, that's a poor one. Oof. It goes through. Maybe the last one. Rafael. Yeah, one more minute to go. Maybe the last one will be El Misterio. Oh, Casemiro. Oh, what a miss. Anthony. But Tonali takes it. Time. Once again, Bruno Fernandez. One minute of overtime. And that's over. Eh? 
Bruno Fernandes, and it's uh, over with the extra time. So we go to the penalty shootouts. Man, how tough is to, to this point right now? Penalty shootout, you, you know, it's like it's like the moment, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be so, so equal as the game has been. And uh, I don't know, you know, or people at home left. Hello, middle everybody. Or the Can right you hear side. me? Yes. Sorry, a quick announcement for the audience. During the PK, please do not give any signs or advice to the players. えっと、みんな様にお知らせします。はい、その通りですね。皆さん。あの、つまんなくならないようによろしくお願いします。はい。Don't help the players. That's it. Simply they're focused on their play and we want to make it equal for both players. I believe from the players, uh, United still having Bruno Fernandes, have Anthony, uh, still have Rashford. Uh, I believe uh, a little bit the quality of shooting is a little bit better from United. In the other right. hand, let's see. We are moving on. The penalty shot out to decide who's going to be the second finalist. Ronaldo for China. And Rashford kicks, and it's in. United scores. 1-0. All right. And now it's Milan. What Enemy Stadio. Zero. Kicks. Eh, it goes in. Oh, that was close. One one. De Gea not not used to miss those saves. And now it's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandez kicks for United. And it goes in. Two one. Still no mistakes. Yeah, great election at the moment by Ronaldo. Second kick for El Misterio. Rafael, Rafael Leal. Leal. Big time. And it goes in. 2-2. Two, two. That's it, that's it. Wow, that was brave to kick yeah. in the middle. Yeah, sometimes, yes. If you miss it, not too much, but it is super great. Eranga for United. And also goes in in the middle. <laughs> if he kicks in the middle, kicks back to the middle. It's a psychology battle right now, trying to confuse the way you shoot. Third Tonali. kick for Milan. Tonali. Oh! It goes in. Once again, close the hair to reach the ball and to save it. Lucky on the fourth kick for El Misterio, a little bit. Garnacho. The Argentinian Garnacho. For United. And goes the middle once again, 4 3. It's difficult to spec, that's it. At the end, put the ball into the net, it's the most important. Ben Kicks and goes in, Ooh. 4 4. Still no miss. So important to analyze. Final kicker. How they shoot at these points. Anthony for United. You never know. Anthony kicks. And, and saves. It saves. So it's a one up for El Misterio. If he scores, he wins. And he goes to the final. Kea. El Misterio. Kear kicks. And it goes I in. It's the Brazilian. It's El Misterio who wins with AC Milan and goes to the final. What a penalty shootout match. Now it was completely, you know, details. And, uh, you know, we saw two times and Ronaldo close to touch that ball with the yes. De Gea and, uh, and save that penalty. But, you know, he missed it. And uh, at the last time, El Misterio took it home, you know. Wow, all the way from Brazil and makes it the final. It was a great game yeah, overall. I mean, both players were able to win the game. It was a close match, uh, not really having spaces to really look for. And yes. uh, finally, you know, this is competition, best of one, and uh, Mysterio took yes, the victory. Exactly. So we're ready for uh, the interview. Kate, please. Right, so I'm here with El Mysterio. You're going on to the finals. Congratulations! How do you feel? É, eu estou muito feliz, é um jogo muito emocionante, né? decidido nas penalidades. É, muito feliz em classificar para a fase final. You want to help with some Primeiro de tudo, <laughs> parabéns. Uma partida muito difícil, técnica, lenta também. O uh, que pensas para a final? Estás preparado? Sim, estou preparado para a final. É... Estou muito dedicado, estou muito empenhado para disputar essa final e conquistar o título. 
I was seeing that uh, he played a really great game, was a top game, close one, uh, where the rhythm wasn't very high, and at the end, you know, everything was for him, took in the victory, and uh, he looks so confident for the final. And, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to ask you also, um, has jugado contra la casa ayer? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Sabes alguna forma para ganar esta final? ¿O alguna idea, alguna táctica diferente? Sí, eh, yo pretendo mudar mi táctica contra la casa. Eh, yo enfrenté a él en la fase anterior. Entonces, yo voy a mudar mi estilo de juego y buscar una nueva manera de jugar esta partida. I asked him about he played yesterday against La Casa at group stage. That time La Casa took the victory by 2-0. And I was asking him in the way he, if he has prepared something to surprise him, to beat him right now in the final. And he said he's confident, he has something prepared. So, you know, Kate, I'm just looking forward to see that. So yeah, parabéns, congratulations. Mm -hmm. uh, see you later. And oh, can you ask him if he has any words or sí, comments sure. to his opponent? Um, un mensaje para tu rival o para la familia? Ah, é, é, eu queria agradecer a todo mundo que está assistindo a live, torcendo por mim. É, muito obrigado por tudo, pelo apoio. Ele é um grande cara, ele sempre tem uma mensagem para a família, para as pessoas que lutam por ele. Então, eu desejo que todos os brasileiros, todos os brasileiros Brazilian fans do FIFA Futebol, estejam lutando por você, porque vai ser um grande momento para a sua vida, para a sua carreira, e para esse grande final, para esse World Finals. Oh, my congratulations again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good luck going forward. <laughs> Oh, and there we have it. We have the two finalists for our mobile. So we have secured the, the first finalists of the mm -hmm. mobile side. And uh, we, we were saying yesterday, we're going to see some penalty shootout. And we finally had it. No, obviously, at this point, when you lose at the penalties, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, you don't really realize at all. But, you know, uh, it's the way to decide who's going to be the winner. Mm -hmm. uh, Ronaldo made a great game. The Chinese uh, played a fantastic tournament. But at the end, the Brazilian. Is the one who's gonna face uh, La Casa, the North American, your country made the grand final. <laughs> and uh, the good thing is, yesterday they, they, they both came from the same group. La Casa beat uh, El Misterio, but now it's in a different way, in a different mm -hmm. moment. That's right. Looking for that grand final to see who's gonna be crowned as a eFootball mobile world champion. Ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be exciting. I mean, I'm of course rooting for both players. I'd be happy if American won, of course, but of course, either way. Rooting for both of them. Well, any other comments? Well, I think we are really happy to be all of us here right now moving to the console. I think the emotion will be higher and higher because the last game of the semifinal will be the Japanese, the local player, Udi. So I think, uh, you know, it's been just the beginning of the day. We keep going and going. Uh, you know, I'm getting super excited. The players' levels go going high with the pass of the games. And Kate, you know, it's a moment for their glory. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of those days that the player will remember their whole life. That's right. I'm so happy for both of them. Well, we're going to move on to the console, am I right? Yeah. I'm excited. Well, thank you so much, Alex. You can take a seat. Thank you, Kate. Yeah. And how is everybody feeling? Are you ready for the next matches? <laughs> moto, moto, can I? I can you. Come on. All right. Great, so that means I will call in the next players. All right, it is time for the console matches. For the semifinals, we have Zelo versus Frankino. From Poland, Zelo. Now it's time for console. It's the same game, but different in way of well, play. Way of game. playing, exactly. Also, yeah, it's like a restart your, our mind. No? Now we exactly. move from mobile to console. Okay. Uh, we're going to see a different, completely way of game style. But still being the pass is the same. That's the cool thing of football. And right. you could play at home, 
when you are traveling, uh, whatever, because yes. you know you have it on mobile, on console, and uh, you know there's so much fun to want. And specifically, these two players, you know, uh, they both play in the Football Pro the whole season uh, on the Polish one, the Zilu playing for AS Monaco, yes. and um, um, Frankino, the Italian, the Italian talent, which uh, right now is going to be like a, a way player of this semi-final, has been playing for AZ Milan, the full esports uh, eFood Pro competition. And uh, those players, you know, they know each other from the, the whole year. They've been training a lot. So it's different than the other semi-final we're going to see afterwards. And uh, it's pretty excited. They're both using FC Bayer. And uh, it's going to be see interesting to see who's going to, you know, take the lead in terms of initiative, in terms of intensity. Yes. And uh, I don't know, they both look confident. It is true that... Uh, Silo, you know, is just 16 years old, looks yes. more shy, more, look, doesn't really apparent in how focused it is. And on the other side, Frankino is a really, really serious person, focused, confident on himself. He have his country mates, uh, Italian here, rooting for him. A lot of people from home as well. Same for the Polish one. I think uh, it's a great moment for the European eFootball le level, I think, so to, to, for them to represent him at this stage. Uh, I don't know, looking forward, Sasha. Yeah. Well. Alex, as you have mentioned, this we have two semifinals, of course, but the first match is the European semifinal, and yep. the other one is the Asian semifinal, and we have one from Poland and Italian. So this one will decide the best European player and who goes to the final. Yeah, completely. I mean, they both have not really much experience this stage, but Frankino is coming completely for if we'll open also Silo. So that's really make believe that, I mean, being at this stage, uh, following the, the way that Konami put to you playing off of open to promotion yourself, they're gonna, they have reached this year yes. the Football Pro League. So, I mean, that's great. You know, that Konami keep investing in, in proposal, in, in, in open ways to new players to access to the world circuit, to the pro circuit, yes. to having a pro contract maybe in the future for the clubs. And that's pretty, pretty cool. And uh, uh, I think uh, pa back in the days, we haven't that. Back yes. in the days, I mean, it was completely difficult, you know, to make alive playing eFootball and right now it is completely possible to be professional not just in Europe also in Asia and I believe it's gonna be better and better with the pass of the time. So we see now the tournament uh, it's Lilo Frankino this is the European side of the semi-finals well it was not desi designed to be like that but um, after the uh, competition after the group stage it became a European semi-final and uh, El Kagor and Udi from Japan uh -huh. so these two are from Asia Indonesia and Japan, so this will decide the best Asian player, and then we <laughs> decide the best nah, player in the world. We have a great, great, great four semi-finalists. It is true that we have some surprises yesterday in the case, for example, uh, we're going to talk later, Elga Kor qualifying just by one goal different uh, in, on that group where the reigning three times world champions might have were in. and. Uh, but right now, in this case, yesterday, I think what you were talking about, I mean, we didn't show such a huge performance in terms of winning by a lot of goals, everything was so equal and you know, so balanced. And uh, uh, Frankino took a really great victory yesterday here on the stage. We saw him, that he has something to say, meeting in Dominator, one of our sort of the best players. I mean, that's, that's you know, they, they, you see on his eyes how, how, how strong it is. And on uh, the other hand, we saw yesterday Zilo beating Elul, the Indonesian player, yes. his person the really experienced Indonesian player. And I think they both, you know, Zilo made everything. He won his first two games, then he lost the third one when he was qualified. In the other hand, uh, Frankino also was super solid. I will say he was expecting, you remember, expecting the, the last third game where Mukahid has to play against Ferry. Yes. And uh, Mukahid weren't able to, to get that victory to put him into the semifinal. And then Frankino, you know, who made before on time his job yes. to get six points were we're good enough for for going to the semifinal. yes so um and uh, now talking about the two players um well uh tactic wise or the, how they play uh what from how they play how do you see the match uh, what what kind of match will we uh see i mean it will be really like a mirror game kind of uh, both playing with buyer 4-3-3 by the middle standard formation i could say uh, we could have a different overall of some players we uh, change a little bit a few a few cards, mm -hmm. but you know the main ones, the big time come and the, you know the part of the player of the week and uh, the way maybe they could have maybe uh, uh, Joao Cancelo the midfield mm -hmm. instead of right back and this, those change could be slightly different, but at the end it will be more than. I will show you that I'm better than you playing with the same formation, <laughs> that I'm faster than you, that I right, have right. more the initiative than you. It will be like a, you know those battles where at the beginning it's close, difficult to play because, uh, you know, 
I mean, there is no differences. The position is so similar, so you have to make something extra. You have to ha to show your talent. Right. And those games in semi-final, that's why we have the best player around the world, not because they show us how good they are. I see. So let's see who is going to take the first goal. I uh, well, looking back at the uh, mobile semifinals, it was the one who scores first. Yeah. You but I, I hear, I hear, don't think so. We'll be equal. I mean, things like differently than on mobile. I believe in the, the game player. Uh, sorry, the players on console have more experience at these stages at right. this huge event, so they can manage. I believe much better the nerves, uh, oh, okay. the, the, the timings of the game, mm. how to control our results, especially if you score or you take the lead by one, two goals. So we have to be so important to, to, to see who takes the lead. And if someone to take it by twice times, mm -hmm. by two goals, it's going to be huge for his performance in the semifinal. I see. Um, from your experience, what are they, how are they feeling right now? I don't know. I mean, because, you know, it's different. It's a different day. So it's like, you had time to think about what's going on today, to think about hopefully your, 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 your opponent, to find something different to surprise him, that maybe, you know, not to play the same as yesterday. Uh, but at the same time, it's all about mentality. It's all about to be sharp, to be confident in yourself, to try to play as much possible similar to your, to your normal level, because being there at the stage with the nerve, with the people in front of you, normally you are not able to play at your level. You always right. so as much as you can play at close to your level mm -hmm. will be crucial to I see. to you know to be having chances because this time you know okay. you could have lucky, you could have a rebound, mm -hmm. you could have a pose, or you could have a red card, stuff like that. Right. So that's made a huge change, I would say. I see. So we got lots of comments also. Uh, here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your comments. And also, we have a packed crowd here in the Esports Skins Studio. Yeah, these people are enjoying and looking really forward for the semifinals for console. え、皆さんね、この後ね、ま、日本も出てくるわけですけれども、一体どんな盛り上がりになるのか、you're looking also well, I'm sure there are lots of Udi fans here, but yeah. no, you know, they're supporting all the sport and yeah. all the game, so uh, I'm sure they're going to cheer. 皆さん、あの、大きな何か動きがあったらぜひ、え、目いっぱい反応していただいても全然オッケーですから、え、盛り上げていただきたいと思います。よろしくお願いします。Still waiting the match to start. Just a little bit. Yeah. Start. Just a little bit. Well, still. I want to make a special mention, uh, yes. Sasha, to the people at home, even here, the players, kind of to take some note, to take you know, because uh, mm -hmm. these games will be completely different at the second semi-final. Because I also I really like to repeat that the good thing of this level of competition to yes. bring players around the world to this stage is like. In every country, people understand the game differently. The way they play, the way they put their tactics is completely different. Right now, we have we will have two similar ideas of how to play, Frankino, the Italian, and the, and the Polish, uh, Zillo. But then the second semi-final, the idea, the Japanese Udi mm -hmm. understand, play, and manage the timings is completely different than Europeans. And also, Elgakor from Indonesia mm -hmm. have a lot of experience at only 25 years old. And uh, he's a really amazing player that loves to take advantage by the formation instead of the skill and the movement. Mm -hmm. So they are completely different ideas that uh, you can learn from these games and uh, as a player to learn about tactics, the set pieces, mm -hmm. the way they manage the nerve, the timing. So, I mean, as a player, you know, those games are song, someone to repeat it again and again and again, to, you know, to remember, to memorize every, every detail. Wow, okay. Can, and is there a, also some plays or the way to play uh, that we can learn from, you know, when I go back home and play eFootball, is there anything that I can steal or learn or yeah, to, make, I mean, to, to let me improve? Yeah, yeah, basically, as you could say in the replay, that you could see initially the formation, not you try to, to, you know, to use it for yourself to see if it's working for you, because sometimes people want to, you know, to repeat or to copy the best formation of the best player on the world, but sometimes it's impossible. But at least maybe you can you can get some ideas of Frankino, maybe some idea for Udi, mm -hmm. or maybe some ideas, uh, or, you know, of Elga, or, you know, that that's meaning details could make you 
I mean, more complete your game style when you play football because, come on, everybody here is in the chat right now is yes. a football player. Everybody, or most of the people here as well. So it's like, if you want to get improving, maybe you're not going to reach the uh, for competition side or, or for, for world, world stage that we are right now. But you want to go higher in the ranking, going to the first division, going to the to, uh, top 100, top 200 of the world ranking. So I think that's a good moment right now to, you know, to get some, some notes and go I tips. See. Um, well, what I was surprised is uh, from yesterday, um, you know, what a slight detail makes a change, you know, because when they were uh, uh, choosing their uh, their formation and they were just sliming, you know, the, the attackers just to the right, left, just one, one notch to the right, one, or one pixel to the right. Exactly. And you told us that it makes a big difference how they move or how they uh, react to the play. And that was actually shocking. I thought y you should move a little bit more. Just one dot was <laughs> not so much for me. I but think, you yeah. told me that it, it's going to make a big difference. Yeah, right? it's, it's completely right. I mean, players, I think I told by myself, I think most of the pro players, I think we, we used to be so obsessed with this kind of, kind of you try every day a little bit one point to the left one point to the right you know because the reaction the positioning the their movement in the pen, in attack and in defense is completely different and it changed because you know maybe one point high mm -hmm. that will make him not to go down to defend as see. fast as you expect mm -hmm. so it's like for it, those timing those positioning you know are making the differences and uh, we are going to see uh, a standard positioning on, on, between Franquino and Zillo and, and the other side, for example, Elga approach to open their attack, to extend their attack, to, right. to have a space for his Amy F to go in, and, you know, and to join the attack, having, you know, the, the space not to confuse their opponent. And that, that, that's pretty cool. Then we could analyze the way they play, which advantage tactics they are using, the more useful are defensive to the DMF, to your right back, uh, also the counter tire to your striker, because how important is the stamina in football, no? kind of at 60 minutes, most of your players are, are completely exhausted. So mm. if you play with counter target, they don't, doesn't go to defend and their stamina are completely ready. And not, not just only that, for attack, for the counter attack are so, so, so important, you know, to make that, you know, that little bit, I mean, run forward mm -hmm. to, to gain the back of the defender and uh, to make the difference. And, you know, at this stage, one goal up, uh, Sasha, uh, <laughs> I, I don't see. want to be yeah. the one who is losing at that point. You know? Right. <laughs> and the other thing is, um, uh, what, what was surprising was uh, there were players, not these two, but who made the defender all the way back and lining with the goalkeeper. I never did that before by myself. <laughs> lining the defender and the goalkeeper on the same line. Is that also effective? I mean, it's been up to you, kind of, for example, you could have the defense line at the same, la at the same level, mm -hmm. but instead of play quick counter, that, that game style force you to have at the middle of the pitch your defender. If you have long ball counter, every time you lose the ball, the, the, your defense goes to the back. Even with that, if you position it, that, those players you mentioned, but just the bottom of the map, yes. it's, like, it's like your player will be, you know, close to the keeper. But it depends on up to you, kind of, for example, you could play quick counter back with the left line down to the bottom, mm -hmm. and that will make you be mentally and positioning a bit more safer for those triangles, those long balls that we have seen from yesterday that are so, so dangerous. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we've seen a lot of players struggling with long ball contact because having the defense back to the bottom yes. makes it so easy for their opponent to play, to control. We had Kirito yesterday playing so smooth because he has time. He had the space to pass, to work around, to think about the chance, mm -hmm. and that, that's also a different way. So there is not one game style which is better than the rest. There is no one better formation. Right. It depends your opponent mm -hmm. and depends the way you want to play. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, for example, Durbe with the long balls uh, from, for, for Giroud were amazing during the whole yeah. day that are going to approach him to make a fantastic fifth position here at yes. the World Finals, um, winning the side event yesterday for his first appearance in a global tournament. Nice. And, uh, and that, that's it, the, the, the different of, of style depends your team. Barcelona, for example, gives you the chance to make more show passing, more, uh, less runs. Bayern is a really complete team between uh, run forward, long passes, mm -hmm. a great run, a lot of great substitution. But you know, uh, we are going to say later, Udi with Man United, the only one with Man United, and he's on the semi final. So it's like, there is one better team. Obviously, United was the most used here, but uh, you yes. know, it depends the moment, depends the situation, and that's why 
what I want to say is that the analysis of game mm -hmm. at this moment is so important. I see. Wow. We're still waiting for the game to start. So, and we're finally, yes, uh, the game is ready. All right, let's see the uh, formation. It's 4 3 3. As, uh, as we see, Frankino, if I'm not wrong, on the right side, exactly. You have like the EMEF in the center, in the completely yes. in the center. It's like he, he wants to have the striker, the EMEF, the DMEF, and the keeper in the same line. Yes. And the other side, Zillow wants to have the EMEF like more running into the CF Mane positioning to try yes. to, you know, to accumulate on the left side mm -hmm. that superiority, that that's two versus one. And uh, let's take a look. I mean, I mean I'm scared to see Darian Blin and just DMEF. But they, if they put it, it's because something, it's because they have confidence. And the other side, Frankino with Goretzka, box to box player, but he have defensive, defensive card, which means he's not going high. So, you know, both different strategies. Let's see who is the best one. And we are going, finally, to, to the, the semifinals. Yes. Game one of semifinals. Let's go for Zillow and Frankino. <laughs> it's going to be a great, great game. The moment for these players to show their best. So Zillow with the red shirt and uh, Frankino with the white shirt. Sane takes it. Kimish to Zillow. Mane goes to Sane. Sane goes to the ball. Pavar also. But it goes out. Throw in for the white by for Frankino. It's important to not to concede any big mistake at the very beginning. I mean, they both player used to be now not much, uh, you know, confident at the beginning. It's always difficult at this stage. So it's very important to know, you know not to concede at least in the first 20 minutes. Sane takes it. But zero. Goes ball, to eh? Ter. Great ball. To Ooh. Kimmich. Well positioning by Frankino with the Pomecano. Mane. I think uh, it's so important. He's isolated. To He's isolated. To Frankino. To run out of Frank position, Darian Blin, and also for for Borzillo to move the positioning of Goretzka. The Sane Kimish takes it on the right side across. Why was no that? Here. We are moving to mobile crosses in, in console as well. Oh my God, Musiara! They are trying everything. Now it's everything. Zillow. Musiara, Musiara doesn't go through. Upamecano takes it. And goes to Sane, didn't take it. Hernandez. Stanisic. Luciana. Oh, oh look at that. It's a little bit long. Red Lin ball. takes it. it Kimish. Oh, that's to Tell. Back to Kimish. Not oh, that was no. a poor pass. Mane. Sane. Once again to the front. Oof. The league clears it. As you see, their main attack is everybody yeah. by the center. Musiala. Which is one of the meta style, no? For this yes. Evil 2023. And still, we're looking for the ball. That was a yeah. foul. For uh, a bit late. Arrived Manetino. Exactly. So, free kick for Zillo. Takes it to the front to tell. Kimish. Musiala to Blint. Mane, Mane. Can we see a cross from Mane too? Or still waiting, still waiting for a place? You're right. Still waiting, still waiting. Right. Mane goes through, Mane goes through, and a cross, and it shoots. Oh, what's Wonderful a save by Franquito. Once again, Mane, Mane, he and she shoots. Not enough. Great, great minus by Zillo. Pushing there. Great chances. One, two, double touch with Manes. Passing the defender. Now time again for Zillo. Stanisic, Luciana, Mane. That pass, pass, back pass has to go through. Zane. Frankino needs to go in the game right now. Stanisic. To gain some confidence. Zillo is Mane on the left side for Frankino, but the ball goes out. He's every Throw time in. there. Zillo positioning so well. At the defense. To Kimish. From Kimish across. Sane. 
you know, those balls, because you don't want, you don't want to miss the ball. It's like, well, if I see there's nobody close to me, mm -hmm. I want triangle to the end, and uh, well, let's see what's going on. Maybe the rebound, the second chances. That's cool. Great one. Mane takes it on the left side. That was a big pass. Link takes it. Now it's Zilo's turn to attack. Oh, this is a ball. To Tell! Directly to Tell! Tell takes it! The second line. Oh! The link clears. That's great because with those double touch, you change your line and then you try it, you know. This one goes to Tell. Still looking, still looking for the chance. Kimmich, Sané. It goes to the different Sané. If you connect those passes, it's 100% uh, it's goal, eh? Stanisic. Tell. Tell. Shoots. That was a fake. Another Ooh. shot! Well blocked by Zoma. He's confident. He's, fe he's feeling. He's feeling the moment. Zillow. He's feeling, you know, uh, he's putting in trouble. Zanquino. First corner for Zillow. Oh, look at that. And Tell takes it. Rebound. Luciano scores! Goal! For Zillow! 1 0. Luciano, player of the week. For Silo taking this lead and then the first semi final. He was calling it. He was calling it. He was trying once, twice, and at the end, and the corner kick. He made it perfectly. You know, that pass with the, for the top, the shot, and you know, Muziala was there. Franquino has to react. Franquino has to find a little bit confident on their, on their build ups. Which right now. Pass and it goes through to Muziala. And Muziala scores easily. It's wide open. But that was one side. Now we have to see how Zillow managed the, the, this result. If he keeps pushing, or you know, maybe he goes back a little bit. Kick off for Franquino. To the right side, Pavar. Sane. And that goes to Musiara. Nope. The leaf takes it. Kimish to Mane. Musiara for Zillow. Goes to Tell. On the left side, goes up, goes up, still waits to Great. Mane. Great. Mane to Sane. Brilliant. Brilliant goal. 2 0. He's completely, you know, running out of position, Franquino from the sides with a double touch, with a rhythm change, with a fake shot to stop and run again. And then, you know, even Franquino even. Even, even he hasn't seen that, that L1 triangle for finishing. It was pretty nice with Tell. I thought Franquin is every time looking for the pass. And when he's looking for the pass of Zillo, Zillo approach it to make the, the trick. So it's like, you know, he's not, he's not really reading the movement of a Zillo. And then, you know, fantastic. It was a fantastic goal. It seemed easy, but you don't know how difficult to, to make it at this level, this, yes. those, game, those goals. Wonderful goal. So. Zillow leads 2-0. Now, Franquino needs a goal. Before the end of the first half, we have five more minutes to go. Kimmich. Back to Goretzka. Passes. But Stanisic takes it to Kimmich Sane. Now it's time for Franquino. Poor pass. To oh, still. Holding a ball. First mistake of Zillo. First Kimmich. mistake of Zillo in the whole first Sane. half. Tere. Sane! <laughs> a little bit to the right. Every mistake matter. You know, Zillo was playing completely perfect and he lost the focus a little bit with that short passes. And, you know, Franquin is there. Great one to pass between Zane and Tell. And, uh, you know, say, shame that they, they shoot what with the right foot instead of the left one. Maybe we're gonna have uh, one chance more to pen the header in this first half. Yes. See, see how many minutes are. We have 20 defensive. seconds remaining. I think for Silo is so important to go through the halftime with two goals up. Two minutes of additional time in the first half. The lift takes it. Last chance. Sane takes it back. Kimi for Zillo. And this car is gonna be like oh, game that over. Was a poor one. We're not. We're not. And that concludes the first half. 2-0 for Zillow. Pretty, pretty solid. The Polish player, the US Monaco player, pretty solid. Look at that stat, six against one. I mean, he's 
he's there, you know. It's yeah. like uh, Franquina hasn't gone into the game right now, but, you know, he's already have 45 minutes. We talk about to take advantage of two goals. He have it, but he's going to manage that, right. th that distance. We see it right now. Pavar or Franquino with the right, with the black shirt Franquino and white shirt Al Zillo. Yes. As you know, second half we switch the, uh, the cameras. Yes. We switch the signals now on the screen of Franquino. So Franquino. Stanisic. Yes. Franquino. Mane. One v one. To Kimish. Uh, but now Franquino is looking more for short passes. At the beginning, he was like risking the ball just with long balls, and he wasn't, you know, connecting with his player. The 2 0. Great ball. Ah, oh, the control was so far for Musiala. Strange control. It was a player like Musiala. Zillo is now in the white shirt. Yes. Zillo. It was a pass for Zillo. Kimish. Franquino. Now to Musiala. Tell. Oh, oh, and that's a foul. That's gonna be a good one. Well, that's gonna be a free kick uh -huh. for Franquino. It's gonna be interesting. You have different way to the keeper side on top to the bottom. You know, Sane you never know. Kicks. Ooh, that goes out and corner kick for Franquino. Was a good try, but even uh, Zillo was there with the goalkeeper, with the manual goalkeeper. So this is like a penalty. You have to confuse also the keeper at those foul free kicks. It's not easy to score a free kick at this level. This one is insane. Moving this corner. Look. It goes in. Ah. Easy catch for someone. He didn't took on time of Pamecano to run to in the direction to the ball. But the complete the cross was perfect. He didn't pick up with the cursor the player he wanted. It's a, free, it's a corner kick which is really mm. meta right now in the game. Those rockets. Oh, that was a poor one. Takes back, Sané. Zillo passes. Nope, now it's Franquino. Sané to Kimmich. A long pass from Kimmich. Doesn't go to Sané. Zillo takes this. And kicks out. It won't change Sometimes I, I, I made this because when, when I was yeah. change, you know, kind of. I, I, I don't want to keep like that. I want to make, change something and right now, and I throw the ball out quickly. Zillo with Paul Banner as Amy F. Frankino looks like keep the same, analyzing what he's doing. Zillo. Also, Zillo have a comment on the bench, but I don't know, he's like thinking about Sane is still like a super completely exhausted, but he we are gonna wait a little bit more because you know, you have two goals up, then yes. you are winning, maybe you don't really need something fresh right now. Number so from Musiala, Bana comes in. Coming on the field is number 14. The attendance Which is true that Frank Inanita early go. 30 more Ivana minutes to go. Fight for the victory. Kimish to Vanna. Kimish. Hell. Oh. Kimish. Sane on the right side. For Frankino. Frankino. Sane. Sane still holding. Ooh. Now, so it's a strange move. From Franquino with Sani. Upamecano, Goretzka, Pavar, Kimish. Franquino still looking for a chance. And that was an offside. Yeah. Musiala was coming back from offside. Oh, look at that. Ted was completely alone. But he didn't show it. Change for yeah, Franquino. Franquino. And Coman for. Zillo instead of Zani. You know, common, you know, but this time Zillo and 82, uh, Kingsley Common and Frankino just at 75, 76. Mm. It's like uh, the minimum that uh, it is on the rules of this competition. You, yes. you, have, you cannot have any player with less than 75 overall. Okay. Number 10. So let's see. Common comes in. For both player. Coming Kingsley on to replace him is number 11. What is sure that a third goal by Zillo, it is completely Kimmich. finished. Two. This game. Now is a chance for Franquino. 
Passes to Musiara. That's four to three. Come on. Oh, this doesn't go through. Now that's goes up. Goretzka, Kimmich, Goretzka. Tell, tell, tell shoots. Nice try to rebound, second chances. Zilo is full defensive right now. He doesn't want to let Branquino any new chance, any new situation. 20 more minutes to go. That's a foul. Great Zilo. shoulder charge by Zilo. Mane. Great. Position is perfect. Kimmich. I mean, Zilo is managing until now perfectly there. Easily. Tell to Kimmich. Tell. Frankino needs to at least put more pressure because right now he's defending. Lynn takes it back. Uh, with not much troubles right now, Zilo. Kimish to Coman on the right side. He's across. Put it in. No. Nope. So confident with the with the chance. Yeah. Um, Zilo. Now the, that chance with uh, with Coman fresh. Another Even. change. Yeah. For Frankino. Nabry is coming in. Amy Ev, not Nabry, second striker, 4-2-4. Four, four four. Really offensive. Yeah, the end, I was like, if the build-up of Franchino is slow, I mean, Zilo is there, look at that. Zilo, not right now, moving back to have some extra wings. But you cannot surpass 2,730 points of collective yes. threat. If you surpass that, uh, your game is over. So yeah, they have to be careful because they depend the position of the player. They have a different overall. I see. And uh, let's see. It's interesting to see Zilo using Vanner for the second half as AMF. 4-2-4 of Franquino. I believe playing like that, he will have more chances. As well, I believe it uh, has to be by the wings. Because at the middle, Franquino, I mean, Zilo is completely dominating, I think. Substitution uh, on the field. Is you know, so the most complication. Gravenbeck. Gravenbeck is in. For Zillow. Number 38. And it's a free, uh, goal kick for Franquino. Niabri is coming in. Goretzka Vana is coming in. And this game is not over. You can score two goals Twelve minutes in a moment. And 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 this is Zillow. For Zillow. Zillow. On the right side, tell. Ah. The Lich takes it. He has 10 minutes left Stanisic. of this semi-final. Stanisic to Coman. Passes this a ball. Goal. Well managed. That's a goal kick. Nice. What a strange pass. Yep. Franquino with bam, one bar offensive. And Zillow still full defensive. Who will take this ball? Coman. Franquino takes it. Was well moved uh, from Zillow to put a uh, left Come wing to help this side. Tell. Will he pass to Nyabri? Vana shoots and then to Coman. Great defense. Look at this. Who takes this ball? Kimish. So Zilo's ball. Just five, five more minutes. minutes left. Zilo doesn't want to carry on any mistake. Throwing the ball as far as possible. He's just touching. Four minutes. 2 0. Tell to Coman. Oh, I bet. It's going to be a Back good one. Oh, the light. Oof. What's close? So much, please. Another Zilo, point. as we mentioned, is so close to be the first grand finalist of the Will E Football Open World time. Championship here in Tokyo, Japan. Three minutes to go. In the heart of E Football. The list. It will be like a la last chance. Maybe yes, maybe not. Silo to the ball. It. This Mana, is going to be over. Kimmich. Sasha, this is going to be over. And it's game <laughs> over for Frankino. And 2-0. Zillo wins and goes to the final. Congratulations. Hey, yes, Monaco is going to have a representative in the grand final. Wonderful. Of and what a dominant game. I mean, he did jump. His job is like that. I mean, you start strong. He approached the moment where Franquino Warren was not really feeling comfortable because of Zillow. And, you know, boom, boom, two times. And then he managed perfectly the game. I mean, I mean Franquino, I will believe, have him feeling well during the whole game. Have some fine any way to make to create or to build up great chances. And, yes. you know, 
it was a w great job by, by Silo. I believe between him and his brother were analyzing well Frankino yesterday night, and you know, mm -hmm. they made fantasy. I know, super deserved yeah. grand finalist, Wonderful. Silo. So I think we're ready for the interview. Kate, please. Yes, we have our youngest competitor here, Zilo. Congratulations, you're moving on to the final. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm speechless. I genuinely can't believe it. I didn't think I would make it all the way to the final. Um, I'm just want to thank my friends for training with me, and like without them, I wouldn't be here. So yeah, thanks. Well, that's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear. Alex, do you have any questions for him? Well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, you are maybe the youngest player. By playing, you look like the most experienced one. So congratulations right. from, from that side. Uh, talking about the game, uh, you started uh, so confident. I think uh, the positioning of the Amy F on the left side gives you the, a more open attack because uh, Frankino was attacking by the middle, and I think you managed perfect. It was like the key of your formation that the way you attack more open. Well, to be honest, I was watching Frankino and his eFootball Pro matches, so I realized in, uh, his, there wasn't much players there, so I put Musiala there and then I tried to use them, and that's what, that's what I've done. Great job on that. I mean, how important is to analyze your games? Uh, now talking a little bit more about your performance this, this weekend, now looking for this grand final, any special opponent uh, and also a, any special feeling that you have for the final? You have prepared something extra or you are going to be yourself uh, in the grand final? No, I'm just going to be myself. Two of the opponents, I don't know how they play apart from the football open matches I've watched. So I don't know what to expect. So I'll just be myself and give my best. Well, yeah, just uh, want to congratulate once again you. to you, to your brother, to your club, because you made great, great results today. But it's not over for you. And good luck for the grand final. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And also, do you have any comments for your opponent coming up? Uh, just good luck. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, again, congratulations. Looking forward to seeing your next match. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. wow, we made it! He made it! He made it! He made it. <laughs> what a performance, what a good performance from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Taking the lead, taking the initiative, Kate, and, you know, completely deserve it. Mm -hmm. And him saying that he didn't think you would make it here, he seemed so cool and collected and confident the whole time, who would have thought? Have you seen how shy he is well, and how confident he's playing? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it is like a complete two different person. I know, it's right? Like, it's so cool. A true pro, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was pretty happy to see I mean, how important is the analysis. Uh, as he mentioned, analyzing the Frankino games uh, yesterday night with his brother on eFootball Pro this season, because, you know, he managed to control everything mm -hmm. about what's going to do Frankino. And, you know, that's the important thing. This is eSports. This is the very best player around the world. And that's every right. detail matters. That's right. Okay, well, thank you so much, Alex. You can take a seat. Thank you. And we'll move on to our next match that will decide our last finalist. Everybody, are you excited? <laughs> okay, with that, I will call in the next players. All right, the last semifinal for today, we have Elgacor versus Woody. From Indonesia, Sasha and Alex, take it from here. Thank you, Kate. So, who will face Zillow in the finals? At this level, sorry, Sam, Sasha, uh, you never know. Kind of, I could have a favorite, but at that point, right now, uh, it's difficult to predict. I mean, it depends on the way they are dealing at this moment, because uh, they both have it on, under their shoulders. Uh, the pressure, um, the, the, you know, the feeling, the, the support from their community, uh, their fans, their, their friends, their family. And uh, I don't know, I think it's going to be a key point, the way yes. Udi is playing at home, mm -hmm. the way he deal or he 
you know, compared the pressure to be the only one representative of Japan in yes. the semi-final. Everybody looking for him to motivation to give your very best level. I think that that will be a, one of the key points. At the same time, at the same time, Elga, I know him from many, many times. Yes. How, how good player he's been during many, many years, and he know how far, how hard it was to reach this point, a right. grand final. So, sorry, a, a semi-final semi in a World Finals. He's, I don't know, he's like a. He's like a lion. I mean, he, he knows <laughs> how much he wants to be the champion. And right. uh, I've been talking with him and, you know, his passion, he, he knows his, his aim to, to show the world how good he is, is so, so strong. And I think it's one of his keys as well, you know, that, you know, that extra power that he brings when he plays at this stage. So Elga Cole is rep representing Indonesia. There were so many Indonesian uh, players yesterday. And, uh, well, he's the only one remaining, so... He will fight all, not only for his country, for himself, but also for his, you know, fellow teammates. No, no, yesterday, the performance of Elga, uh, the, the game we saw in the States against Kurito, uh, we were saying maybe he played the worst game of the tournament. Uh, as Kurito were controlling the game, the timings. He was suffering with his long back counter. And, uh, but everything changed. After, yes. after that game, he beat everyone. Yes. He made it through the, through the semi-final. It is true, just by one goal difference yes. for, uh, against Kirito. But I mean, he's a super great class player. And uh, I think he had prepared something for, for, again, to play against Udi. At the same time, Udi was the only one player in the whole tournament to win every game. Yes. So it's like, that does mean he's in good shape. He's yes. at home soil. He will feel the support from the fans. I believe he's, he scored a goal. It will be huge celebration <laughs> exactly. for everyone. Yes. So we I have mean, a packed crowd here in the exactly, studio. Exactly, so. and uh, that's good to see, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so now players, uh, the two players, they, I think they had, they're gonna choose a different team, uh -huh. so different tactics. So, how do you see the game? Which side will be aggressive or defensive? Will or? be, I think, more open, kind of different formation a little bit different teams so that will make uh, have more differences in terms of the matchups in terms of the markings uh with Strula from one side Elga with Bayer we are used to see him yes. there are you people using Bayer München in the other hand Udi with Rashford and uh, Epic card oh, sorry a big time card will be his main player and uh and we have seen him playing so intelligent it's, it's so it's smart United? yeah is yes. he take the lead by one two goals he probably is the very best player managing timings uh, at this tournament right now. And uh, I think it's sort of be important for Elga to not to concede that first goal at one of the key moments that we're going to see in this semifinal. I see. Wow. This will be really interesting how to how the match will go. So um, what, what for Zillo, the first goal was really crucial. And uh, from there, he built it up his rhythm mm -hmm. and there were Franquino had no chance really to, you know, bring back the rhythm. So for this match, I'm definitely sure the first goal will also be a big part. Yeah. I mean the first goal, even if you defend the kickoff and you defend the result by 10, 15 minutes, it's like a, you made like a 40% mm -hmm. of your game or the half of, of the 50%. Even even though it's your score your second goal as Zero did and uh, you, you, you you I I don't mean you, you, you're gonna make it, but you know, they know, they are so good. They have, they have been prepared this event from, not, not this event, the whole season by a lot of time. It, it, there is a lot of hard work during months to reach this moment, these yes. games, and everything is gonna be decided in 10 minutes game. Yes. You know, it's always like, it's time to you know, to show your best, to let everything there in yes. the, in the, in the, uh, on the screen and, uh, and the console. And uh, I don't know, I, I want to be there in that position, you know, because that feelings uh, is, is once in your lifetime. So that's super cool to be at the, right now right there. How did you feel when you were there? I mean, it, it is tough because you feel the lights, you know everybody got looking at you, but when you are in front of the screen, it's like you forget everything. Mm -hmm. You're just focusing on the screen. Uh, you have nothing else on mind. Just be there, do your game style, do yourself do everything you have prepared for because there is a lot of preparation for every game when yes. you are going to make substitution it's happening something like this mm -hmm. do like that mm -hmm. you know they have everything under control yes. so you have to be super clear-minded not to have nothing in your brain just how to play how to score goals mm -hmm. how to build up your chances right. and uh, have a clear mind how to play wow well so we're really waiting still for the second semi-final to start but well Udi will have a lots and lots of support, so yep. let's see uh, who are they waiting for. 
さあ皆さんもうすぐ準決勝第2試合ですけれどもねウーディさんの応援に来ている人はどのくらいいるんでしょうかねウーディさんのサポートどのくらいいるんでしょうか拍手でお,お願いします These are for Udi Home advantage here Yeah. <laughs>、uh, there, there is always someone who has advantage of to be in the home soil, you know? Right. It depends. So, this tournament is in Indonesia. Elga was going to have this, but this time、yes. we are in Japan,、uh-huh. and、uh, that makes sense. It's time to, you know, to cheer everybody,、yeah. to say hello, to say hola a todos los fans que están viendo la retransmisión de España, <laughs> desde Italia, desde Polonia, so from everywhere around the world, because it's so important to have them watching, you know, supporting. We are seeing the chat. People、yes. saying Udi will 9 0, you know, there is a lot of <laughs> opinion in the chat、9-0. right now. There is a lot of people supporting Indonesia flags, you know, look at that. I love that. Indonesia, Indonesia, Japan,、yes. even Netherlands. There are people from around the world、that's、are、nice. supporting right now. Yes. And that's the best. Right now, it's so cool. For example, yesterday we were talking about Udi made probably、mm-hmm. the more solid performance on yesterday's group, winning、yes. all the games,、uh, beating, for example, we saw on the stream beating Urbe, Durbe 3 1. Maybe we thought maybe, maybe Durbe wasn't one of the players to take a look at that moment, but then he won the, the side event, and that means Udi is super, super on a good form right、yes. now. On the other hand, Elga, we haven't seen that game on the stream, but Elga had beaten the three times world champion yesterday, Usma Kabil. So it's like,、uh, you know, these, those two players are so good. and、uh, So high level. And this、so、is、difficult. also the match to decide the best Asian player in this tournament. And that's it, that's it. This is something like more personal, but it's so、yeah. close to know. And,、uh, We have the best European player already. Zillow will move up to the final, and this one will be the best Asian player, Indonesia or Japan. And what, what, what means for you, Sasha, if the very best European player is just 16 years old? Yes, yes. I'm 25.、Um, Oh, you're still young.、Uh, you're still young? But he's、yeah. 16, you know? Super young. Have you seen how he played? He's just 16 years old. Like, who?、Yeah. <laughs> What were you doing when you were 16? You were playing already.、Right? I was playing, I was competing, but I, ha- I, have to, I played my first international tournament with 17 years old. Okay. So he's in the grand final with 16. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, even with that, it's so impressive. It is true that the youngest. Great result ever in the history of football was made by e t o r i t o the、okay. Italian legend who made, beat the world champion, runner up at the, at the world championship in 2011 with just 13, 14 years old. Wow. I mean, this is so difficult to, you know, to pass that stats. Yes. But, but you know, this you know, is good to see new players, new blue, new talents coming up at this stage, doing great results,、uh, pushing the rest of the players to. To get it better and better, no? Because I mean, that result of,、uh, of Zillo, Franchino, they are 16 and 19 years old, that will push out the rest of the European players to be better and better because, you know, you see them, it's like, all right, if he d o that, I, w- I will try at least to do the same, you know? So that's pretty cool. Then in Asia, I believe the performance of Udi today, of Elga, the rest of Indonesian players as well, will elevate the level of、uh, all the ASEAN players、uh, to another different level. That, that's, that's great to say because.、Uh, These opportunities are, are so important because everybody is looking at this. You know, this is the main event for every、right. fan, for every player, and that, that's so cool to watch. There's so many people watching.、Um, so, Alex,、uh, you told me yesterday there is a, you know, a, a way of playing for, for each continent. So, European play, their European style, or Asian, Asian stuff. Can you once again tell us the difference between how they play in different continents? I believe, for example, in Europe, we used to. I think because I will say our biggest talents used to play like that with this 4 3 3 formation, like a stand up by the middle.、Mm-hmm. We used to main focus in,、uh, in Europe to make advantage by skill, and in Asia, they are looking for different ways tactically,、uh, controlling the timing, controlling, you know, more to have advantage by your formation than by your skill, and、uh, that's pretty cool to see. So, yeah, look at that. We have the signal. All right, so、Udi、finally, we are、right、set. With Anthony, Post, player of the week, rush for big time.、Uh, that's so nice.、Manchester、also, the f a r player of the week. 4 3 3, long ball counter. Look、yes. at that. SS, Anthony, right forward Sancho to make space to Bruno Fernandes to join the attack. And on, And on the, the other side, side this、uh, formation of Elga, which is fun, you know, the, the, the position of、Ooh. the defender.、Uh, Hol Musiala is on the right side. To make two, two versus one next to Navri to make them an advantage, looking at Stanisic, which is maybe the, the lowest defender on that side to make him you know, in trouble. But it is true that Elga yesterday was struggling a lot with this formation against Kirito. But you know, both using l o m b a r d counter,、uh, I don't know how it's going to be the matchup,、um, but it's going to be so interesting. The way that both players can defend with Stanisic. Because 
they both know is the, the, the lowest defender so that they will make an effort to you know or, or to push to pass him by on that side. I see. So anyway, as I told you, this is the the defense line. <laughs> Same line as the goalkeeper, so low. Yeah, I mean, that that means like the, the starting position for the defense line. That doesn't mean he's going to be stay like that the whole yeah, game. But it will start from a little bit behind. And that's maybe will open or, 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 you know, to have more large mm -hmm. deformation between attack defend. But if he is comfortable at the end, it's all about to get used to play like that. Ah, I, I mean, if you play the whole season with three defender and then change to four defender or opposite, it's like completely different. But right now, moving on, second semifinal. Elga from Indonesia versus Udi from Japan. All right. So, who will compete Zillow in the final for console? Kickoff for Bayan. Elga goal kicks off. First 45 minutes starts from Kimmich to Tell on the left side. Tell. Clear by United. Bruno Fernandes. It's so interesting to see Tell in the left side and Mane in the middle. I think he was trying to, to run. Great intercept by Busiela. chance by the middle. Mane. Back to Kimi. L1 triangle. And it goes to Mane. Yeah. Doesn't go through. Was nice. What a nice try. From Fred to Rath Ford. Bruno Fernandes drops the ball. And the matchup, Anthony versus Stanisic also. We have to take a look at that. Goretzka takes it. Mane. Great on time. Casemiro. Fred. Sancho. Look at that. How fast is Sancho? Sancho to the middle. Rashford rushes. Probably as player Sancho that their stamina is so, so low. But, you know, for 40 minutes, for 30 minutes, it's impressive. The double touch is one of the faster double touch uh, from the game. And, uh, you know, so Let's fun see. to use, to watch. Sancho. Casemiro. Look at that. Anthony. The position of, of Bruno Fernandes. Always joining the tag. From Anthony to Sancho! Corner kick for Udi for United. Here, the Japanese fans celebrate every chance, every build up from for Udi. Corner kick by Anthony for United. Now, everybody to the second post. And it goes. Ooh. Not it. That was a nice header. Yeah, he sent every, every attacker to the second post, and it was nice, right? Anthony. Great. Anthony. Great. Anthony is still looking. Oh, 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 is free. Oh, oh, the post goes oh, and another oh, goal for United. Oh, yeah. One zero. Udi. Great ball. That moment when he realized to run from outside to inside made the defender to make a step outside the box and was the right time into this L1 triangle. Then the pose, the rebound, but it was a great, great performance by Udi. Great chance, great goal, taking the lead. And how important it is that, Sasha? Alex, when it first went to the post, I thought, oh, this is unlucky, but he never missed the second chance. No, but some, I mean, it's, it's unlucky. And also, it's because he forced to have lucky on that point. It's like that ball from Anthony was amazing. Obviously, you know, Sancho with the header is not really the very best, but you know, he was completely alone, so he completely deserved that, that goal. Now, Zero. let's see the reaction of Elgan. Okay. Is, is making, there a change, making a change? I think so, yep. Elgan, uh, no, it's like a... Just a check? Yeah, the advanced tactics. He have like a counter attack. You have something wrong, I think, Udi. And uh, right now, moving on. Goretzka. It's, always, it's another game right now. When you're winning, when you're losing, you have to deal differently those moments. Goretzka. Oh, Elga Kor. Yesterday, Elga spent the close to the whole game to get used to play, to get comfortable, and I wish today he get it before. Mane to tell, to tell, shoots. Blocked by United. Pavar to Goretzka. Luciana. Great one, Mane, one Nyabri. Nyabri. To the wrong direction, maybe for the right side was way better. Stanis it. Dribbles. The circle. No circle. And it goes to Tell. Back to Mane. Great. So important the position of Casemiro and also Goretzka. This DMEF player could be the key for your defense. And it's Nyabri. Great block. You know, those times that you, you know, throw the ball out but you not to the, as far as possible and you miss the header. 
that situation are so difficult, but, you know, when your player is starting to run out and you miss the ball again, and it's like, you know, a lot of space. Musiala, Ooh. to Mane, to Mane, still holding. Nice try. Cleared by United. Nice try. It's a good moment for Elga. Udi trying to, you know, to survive. And Sancho takes moment. it. Sancho takes it. It's a big chance for United. Goes to Rashford. Rashford need to take some time. To good Sancho, one. to Anthony. Back to Sancho. Great, great. Positioning by Upamecano for Elga. Kimmich. To Goretzka. Luciana. It's offside. It is. Offside for Bayern. He, yeah, he sent uh, before on time uh, Mane couldn't to go, move uh, forward. Back, and, yeah. and then, you know, wasn't already there. Breaking forward. Receive that ball. Long balls. They are very difficult to win the head of a rush for against players. Delight to Pomecano, but you know, sometimes it's more safe to, to play like that than play short. And Udi really knows how to deal this, this situation. This 13 situation. minutes to go in the first half. Great Tell to Mane, he's free. De Gea takes it. That's the difference. No, Tell hasn't they really had as much uh, passes, points out, you know, on the stats to, so, you know, to keep perfect pass that you need you know, at those moments. You know? Maybe you need from Bayer to have those passes with uh, Kimmich, with Musiala, that they, you know, they are able to, you know, to be accurate. From Kimmich to Tell. Mm. Great block. Udi, Udi yesterday scored a lot of goals in situation right, right now. And goes to Rashford. He's counter -attacks. Goes to Rashford. Rashford. Great. Rashford goes Look at through. that. Rashford. Rashford. The cross. And the pass. And the rebound. Oh. Oh. That was close, almost so no goal. Great job, great job by Pavar, by Yelga. Surviving at those movements, crazy and safe movement by Rashford. Fred. Now the pressure for Elga. Udi going high, Bruno. Bruno Fernandes. Great interception by Goretzka. From Kimmich to Niabri. He will try to go left. Kimmich. Tell is waiting. Quite low, quite low those passes. Clears to the front, goes back to the keeper. Close to reach the extra, the extra time here in the first half, sorry. Sasha. Yep. One minute of extra time. The last one for Udi. Anthony, Bruno Fernandez, Sancho. Sancho Great ball. to Anthony. Elwin Bruno Fernandez across. Ooh, Nobody's there. And it's great the end of chance. the first half. One great zero chance. for Udi after 45 minutes. So, yeah. what's your thoughts? It's been great. It's been a great game. You know, a lot of feelings about seeing the people here rooting for Udi. I mean, Elga is trying good. You know, he had in the possession, but you know, Udi started with initiative. He started starting so strong or much stronger than than Elga, and that's really important. No, I mean, the game you has to be on sharp, on fire during the whole game, and you know, now taking the lead, Elga trying to you know to have different spaces making superiority right now with the formation on the left side. And, uh, you know, he's trying. You know, sometimes, like, you have to have different plan. Elga have it, and he will try now to see if he have more advantage than the right side of, uh, of you know, because I say his formation is focused on the left side to have focus on the right side, I mean, right. of uh, Udi. But anyway, it's been great game. Both players, uh, Udi, so, I mean, have the game where he wants. Defending, taking the lead. I know, trying to approach any counter-attack as he did fantastic yesterday on his group stage against Durve, against Palma, and against also Eldridge and Eden. So it started the second half. Manchester United with a red shirt from left to right. Udi. Ooh. And it's a oh, shot! The rebound to Ozen! It's in! Goal! 2-0 for United! The Udi. second one for Jadon Sancho. Look at those people, Udi. With this rap celebration of Hippo, I don't know, it's so cool to watch. Wonderful goal. It looks like it was a really dangerous situation, but those balls, and then the miss, the mistake of uh, Jan Sommer that can't send through the other line outside that ball, and uh, you know, what a shock moment from the Indonesian. Yeah. So, Edgar Cole, two down. What shall he do now? Um, I mean, I mean, he also already has to try, has to keep believing on himself. He just have changed the formation. He just have to restart his game time, trying to you know to get confident, create chances, build up. It is true that you know you see uh, Udi defends so well, and uh, you know let's see. Um, uh, but Udi is having even more 
the game where he wants under control with his fans at home soil. So here we go. Anthony. United attacks once again. Bayern Soma takes it. Olga now switch to one offensive bar as he needs a less one goal early. To be close to Kimish to equalize again. The to Mane. Back to Mane. Nope, this one two didn't yeah. go through. When you start to do that, those you know crosses, mini crosses, because you are not really confident at all to know to make passes. You know, because you're like I don't want to miss, the, to miss the pass, and I prefer to secure that lob. I see. But when you make that lob. Your build-up is so slow and it's so difficult. You have to make then something, one, two passes super fast because if not, you have no chances to, to surprise your opponent. I see. Pavar. Luciana. Defended by Fred. To Sancho. Bruno one. Fernandez goes three, through. Three against three, three, three. Look at this one. Anthony. And it goes to Anthony. Great. Well Alga. cleared. But Stanisic. Well positioned by Alga. Mane. Del. Back to Kimish. Only 13 minutes left. Anthony to Rashford. It's free. But someone takes it. Yeah. I don't know. It's been difficult this moment for Elga. Udi is completely dominating the situation right now. Bruno Fernandes. Back to Soma. Udi right now is like a wall. I mean. To pass his Stefan's line is so difficult because uh, he's trying to pass the first pressure line, Elga, with lobs. Oh, yeah, look, look at this one. We pass it. This is the Mane. best one. Kimish. Other one triangle. Back to Nyabri. I don't know. The positioning of uh, Udi is completely difficult to pass. And <laughs> that is it. Great. Oh, no. Anthony takes this and clears. And clear idea by Udi. Not to miss any ball at the build up, trying to show passes. No change at the moment, just 20 minutes left. Abar. To the left. Stanisic. Look at those. Front, tail. 5 4 1 of Udi. You know? There's like uh, two lines of plenty of players. And, uh, Lisandro Martinez. Or you don't really level up your intensity of passes or uh, the way you build up or is completely, I mean, impossible. Mane to Musiana. Right. Nyabri. Nyabri. Shoots! Oof. And the ball. Second ball is there. Tell. Tell. Tell shoots. Oof. Still great, not in. Great two chances by Elga. I mean, I, I didn't saw that double toss, that stunning shot. And then it is true. Udi did fantastic with the manual goalkeeper. Sancho. Anthony. Gaining some time. Anthony, Anthony. That's Anthony. three against three. Yeah, that, that, that matchup, Stanis Anthony is being crucial for all this. Completely knocking out Stanis in most of the chances, most of the situation. Bayern takes this. 12 more minutes. Elga needs a early Fred, goal. nice defense. Takes back. Once again to Anthony. Anthony from the right side. Anthony from the right side. Goes up. No, I don't know. Uh, Anthony Takes today it. is on fire. Look at that. And Bruno, Bruno Fernandes. Oh my goodness, how good is this Anthony? Or how good is Udi? <laughs> yeah, Fred. Oh, just misses the pass. I think it was a uh, cheeky, cheeky touch. move by Fred. Musiana. He's uh, liking himself uh, playing right now, Udi. Mane. Varane takes it. Anthony. Good defense Fred by Flamengo. He has five minutes left. Musiara. Flags. Tradition. Musiara. Great. great Musiara. Move. Great prediction by Varane. He was waiting that. Udi full defensive. Elga one bar offensive. Goretzka. De Ligt. Mane. To Nyabri. To Musiara. Still not successful. Two more minutes. Pavar. There's not much time for Stanisic. Elga. Udi. Touching, you know, the We're glory of being the, the grand minute. final. Nyabri, Musiara, last Nyabri, right Nyabri, now. Nyabri, two, two. Great clear. And that's it. And it's the end of the game. Two, zero for Manchester United. Udi wins and goes to the final. Great game. I mean, pretty solid, Sasha. I mean, same of the semi-final. Yes, exactly. Did he deserve it? Yeah, two, zero. And, for both uh, games.
I don't know. I think, you know, like the emotion, look at the celebration of Udi, how important it is for the whole Japanese community. Yes. Also, he's playing with a different thing, which is really like me to see, you know, play with different ideas, yes. not everybody with fire. Uh -huh. And that's so cool to see him right now in performing like this. And uh, also, congratulate uh, Elga for yeah. an amazing event. It's top four of the world right now. Exactly. And, uh, you know, moving forward to, you know, to see what's going on, yeah. what Udi has to say from, from us. Anyway, it was a great game. I think, uh, you know, that's match up, especially Casemiro was were so important for Udi, Anthony, and obviously when you have Jadon Sancho, which is not usually to score at ma goals that he did today, twice, mm -hmm. that's the difference, no? Yeah, let's hear some uh, voices from uh, Udi. Kate, please. All right, we have Woody here. Oh, man, it's all good. Hello. Hello. どんな気持ちですかどうですかいやもうシンプルに嬉しいですしまあこうやってみんなが応援に来てくれてることも嬉しいですしまあこうやって日本でイフットボールが盛り上がるこんな機会をいただけたらまず小鍋さんもありがと
Take it to the limit. Give everything you got to give, no matter how you spin it. We only get one life to live, and all it takes is a spark to set the night on fire. Release your heart's desire. Flames getting higher. All right, everyone, welcome back to the eFootball Championship Open 2023 World Finals! We made it, we're here, the yes. moment you've all been waiting for. Exactly, <laughs> yo, yo, que show this! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Man, finally. So, how are you guys feeling? Oh, I'm feeling so excited, I mean, glad to be back on live stream here in Tokyo, Japan for the grand, grand moment for all the fans around the world of this video game. Um, the grand moment for the, this finalist because, you know, I've been a long way to reach this point, a lot of months, uh, a lot of qualification, and you are back here representing your country at the biggest level around the world. And, you know, yeah. Sasha, how good is that? They were playing for a month, right? For this, to reach this point. Uh, it started at home, doing online, and then finally here in Tokyo. And we have only two more matches, one for mobile and one for console. Wow, yeah. okay. It's I know, I'm excited. Should we take a look one more time at the two players who made it to the mobile? Yes, let's yes, check sure. out. All right, so we have from America, La Casa versus from Brazil, El Misterio. So what Great. do you guys think of this matchup? Oh, it will be an insane final. They both have played together at the group stage. That time, El Casa took the victory two goals up to El Mysterio. But you know, different moment, different reason. And once again, I believe El Mysterio knows how to stop that attack of La Casa. So, I don't know. I'm rooting for the Brazilian, maybe. What do you think, Sasha? <laughs> I don't know. It's North America against South America. And I'm sure Cade has a favorite, so. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Rooting for them both, of course, though. Oh, they're both young, 19 and 20. That's yes. Right. Well, it would be a really interesting game. Mm -hmm. Which is true. Sasha, Kate, is going to be a memory for the entire life to be living from here this moment, no? you know, representing your country in a grand final of the eFootball Mobile yes. World Finals. Very um, first offline that's champion, it. right? That's it, that's it. And, you know, it's huge. That's on huge. And how huge? It will be in a few weeks for them, but right now they don't really know where they are, what they're going to leave, but you know, it's something so excited. He knows it. He knows it. Right. <laughs> I mean, and they're here in Japan, right? right? They came from all over the world just for this day. And then, of course, after the mobile matches, we have the console matches. So should we take a look all at right. these yes, two please. players? Console. We have from Poland, of course, we have Zelo, And then from Japan, Woody. So what do you guys think of this matchup? Well, it's going to be a tough one. I think here it's so clear to choose a player to root for. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting match to see kind of, you know, we see two different ways of how they are, how they mm -hmm. are their character playing mm -hmm. and also in personal life. You know, Udi uh, is, you know, an extrovert player celebrating, having his own celebration, connecting with the fans here at yes. the stage. And Zillow trying to be uh, calm. focused, calm, yeah. no reaction, no faith, no, no, nothing, no reaction in general, but playing, you know, it's like another person. So it's gonna be a huge moment for the whole community because also for their careers, because crowning as a world champion could change your next step on their careers. You never know, maybe going to the F1 Pro, maybe to stabbing in a different team, you yes. never know. So, will we see a Japanese champion or a 16-year-old champion? Either way, it's going to be an exciting Either, either way, result. it's going to be very, very <laughs> also, well, emotional. Also, to mention that it's going to be the eighth world champion different in the history of eFootball and first time that a Polish and a Japanese could be able to lift that trophy. Wow, either and way, it's the first time for the country. We're coming to the end. How has it been for you two during this whole event? Uh, it's been amazing. I think it's a huge opportunity, especially talking by myself. You know, uh, most of you knows me being there, playing this competition as this one. Uh, after a lot of uh, world finals appearing this time in the desk with Sasha next to Kate, 
It's been great. I'm, I was trying, you know, to give my experience, my feedback, my knowledge into the game to make you enjoy even more this uh, competition, this broadcast, and I hope you made. But right now, we are on the moment where, you know, yeah. just the players are the ones who has to make the vibes, you know, that, right. that, that this moment. Yeah, I, I'm so happy to be here with all the viewers watching and with UK and Alex. <laughs> we are... I think uh, having a good time here on stage and off stage too. And uh, well, I learned through the players and also through Alex uh, how how enjoyable the game is. And uh, I think I when I go back home and uh, turn on my uh, PlayStation on, I think I can pl play better now <laughs> <laughs> because of all of the comments or all the advices Alex or the players show us. So well, I hope you guys at home will play after this and. Uh, have a better level. Yeah. Yeah, well, for the next you. year maybe. Yeah. And, uh, it's been a pleasure for me of course as well working with you all and of course seeing our wonderful players here yeah. today. So inspiring how hard they work, how hard they train and how they manage to keep their cool under yeah. pressure like that. I need to be more like that. Well, uh, again, if I, if I can say something else, I would like to thank Konami to make the effort to keep trusting in esports because uh, they know, I mean, or maybe they're not how important it is for the players from teenagers around the world to have a life, to have opportunity as this one to travel around the world, mm. to grow themselves outside the video game as personal career as well. So I think it's something that I believe is going to be the restart after a few years of, of something huge for the future, for the entire scene mm -hmm. of eFootball around the world and also for these players, which uh, takes this opportunity, this experience uh, for grow up in every side. All right, right, exactly. Thank you guys so much. Well, I think it's time. Why don't you All go right. ahead and take a seat? Here we go. Let's go. Final okay. showdown. And I'll call in the next players. Are you ready, everybody? What the, what the? Woo! <laughs> The moment you've all been raiding for, the Mobile Grand Final. Both of these players have performed great throughout the whole tournament. We have La Casa versus El Misterio. Okay, from America, La Casa. Woo! Come on, everybody. And from Brazil, Wishing you both the best of luck. Please prepare for your matches. Okay, now let Sasha and Alex take it from here. All right, thank you, Kate. It's the final. Per mobile. It is. It's been long since yesterday morning when we said oh, we have a lot of games to play on, and yes. we are here, the grand final. And I want to congratulate that a little bit. Not at all, because it's already have to be the final, but. I remember being playing with La Casa a few months ago, training, I mean, like before last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is great to see the step up he has made in this World Final, because uh, El Misterio comes out uh, one of the favorites, winning the International Cup yes. made by Konami last year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, seeing La Casa, you know, surprising everyone and knocking out uh, most of the favorite players until they reach the final, it's so nice to see. And, uh, you know, it's really nice to watch uh, this grand yes. final session. The winner will grab the trophy, and it's North America against South America. Uh, it will be great, you know, the, this the country of football would say it's Brazil. Yes. Vegas, you know, like Casa for North America. But I believe it's going to be a huge moment for the community, in order to grow up uh, and, you know, uh, to show everyone that there is a reference in their country to follow him for the future events and uh, future seasons. and. Uh, and it's pretty cool. Let's see the also uh, on the, the bracket right now, La Casa beating Rami at the semifinal, and El Misterio beating Ronaldo in those uh, penalty shootouts that we saw that were really, yes. really close till the very, exactly. very end. Yes. So, um, how do you see now the match between uh, these two? Oh, is at the end we saw that game yesterday. I don't know how to analyze it. Uh, yesterday, La Casa, you know, knocked out uh, Mysterio with two goals up. Yes. And, uh, sorry, two, two goals down. And uh, and was 
you know, surprise it. And, and honestly, they are back here in the final. And mm -hmm. if you are in Mysterio, how do you deal? I mean, I'm sure he know what's wrong yesterday against him, but La Casa has to be super confident, say, about I beat him yesterday. Yes. Why, why not to make it again, once again, no? Right. So I don't know if they have prepared something else. M Mysterio say that yes, but you never know. This formation of uh, of uh, La Casa 4-3-3 versus the 4-5-1 of uh, of uh, El, Mysterio? El Mysterio will be interesting to see the matchups. Kind of uh, maybe I think it's good to see, especially if El Mysterio with players Leao could make the difference with the header. But anyway, it's gonna be a massive game. I, I really impressed the way uh, uh, La Casa is playing with just 81 of uh, chemistry of yes. the of the whole team. Because you know when you play. You are always looking for how 100 or mm -hmm. close to as the Mysterio had 94 with 81. Yeah, 81. That's. I mean, that's. I have to ask him after yeah. why he played like that. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> okay, maybe we have a chance to ask him after the game. We are having the moment, those moments to co change so. your esports career. The and first see. grand final, Sasha. Here we go. Bayern against Milan. Bayern kicks off. It's La Casa's kickoff. La Casa with Bayern and El Mysterio. El Mysterio with Milan. La Casa, the league, who managed so nice his semi final versus Ram. Mane. The rhythm, the chain. The Sane. Look Sane. At Look Goretzka! At Look at that. Where you used to expect to go to the side to look for the cross, he made the L1 triangle from the middle. And that was, uh, you know, a great one. Corner kick for Bayern. I think he's trying a short corner. Yeah, the light. And Lucas is waiting the corner. Can you look at the uh, light. Great. Here, Luciana shoots. And Coman goes for the ball. Look at him. He's able to cross. Great defense by Leao. Rafael. And the ball taken by Davis. Back to Hernandez. Cancero. Uh oh, he's missing a lot of oh, players. Kimmich. All right. To Goretzka. To Sane. Sane shoots. A little Ooh. bit too wide. He's going with everything like Casa. And Mysterio trying to hold on a little bit these moments. 11 minutes. Such is so important to take the lead in this final. Because you want to manage the time. You want to manage the result at every mm -hmm. time. You don't want to manage, you know, any problem. Goretzka takes it. An interception by Goretzka. Goes to Mane, but Tiao. Mane is so fast, yeah. but wasn't enough. Kimish. Come on on the left to Mane. A little bit too short. Yeah. Timing maybe wasn't the best. Yep. Also was too short. Sane Marquez. Cancelo takes this. Cancelo. Cancelo going high. Goretzka. Great pass. Kimish. Luciana. Uh -oh. oh, that was a poor pass. Tonali takes it. Probably enough when you go high with Cancelo, Leal then is later waiting on. Benacer. Benacer goes through. To Rafael on the left side. To Calabria. Ibrahimovic with the cross. And Ibrahimovic, let's go! For Ibrahimovic, AC Milan! El Mysterio scores. We were saying it's so fun to watch Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the yeah. legend of now AC Milan. Uh, we, we, we haven't any score, any goal from him. No, but, uh, you this know, is the first goal. Look at that in the final, Calabria, led foot cross. And Ibrahimovic with that hot size and uh, you know, great header, great header. When uh, La Casa were playing better, uh, Mysterio taking the lead from their Brazilian So You know, I heard I heard the celebration from Rio de Janeiro. What a goal! Great, yeah, great goal wonderful. right now. One zero for AC Milan. El Mysterio. Bayern kicks off. Musiara. Not a good pass. Rafael Leal. Karabia, Ibrahimovic. Look at the pass on top. Donari to Sane Marquez. Sane Marquez. Intercepted by Bayern. It's important to wait to deal this moment when you're losing, when you're winning. Because if Delete. you want to rush a lot and risk in the build up, you could concede the second goal. And Mysterio looks. Quite oh, that was a poor passive pass. right now in defense, which is also great timing for to left. Rafael Leal, great block. Cancelo. Oh, Ibrahimovic Those takes mistakes. it to Leal. Those mistakes are Cancelo. So Sane to Goretzka. 
and assist in interception. Look how everything has changed, Sasha. Now is uh, Mysterio the one who really feels comfortable in the game right now. Goretzka, Luciana, uh, Tonali. Yes, doing uh, a great job with Tonali, with yeah. the midfield, with Benazer. Desk goes up on the right side. Desk. There will be one great minute. Great defense last by Davis. One minute half. of additional time. Coleman. That's the end of the first half. 1-0 for AC Milan. So, after 45 minutes, it's enemy stadium leading. I mean, at this point, you have to be clinic, guy. Any, any game at La Casa where, you know, trying from the very beginning, the first 25, 30 minutes was completely for him. But if you haven't scored your chances, uh, you know, players like Mysterio or anyone at this point of the tournament uh, are able to score you, you know, with yes. just half a chance or a chance. And uh, that's it. Still four or five minutes left. And for this, Grand final on mobile, and right now the trophy will go to sorry to Brazil. Antonio Messias, Messias to Giroud, Giroud. No, yeah, thanks, sis. So for the second half, La Casa attacks from right to left, and El Mysterio from left to right. Davis, Musiara, Mane, Kimmich to Sane. On the right side to Musiara, a little bit too short. Ciao. Now we come to the the Mysterio. Nice defense by Bayern. Calabria to Tonari. Antonio Messias, Benacer. Oh, the game has completely changed after the to first right. goal. Sade Marquez, Sade Marquez. Great day. Great defense. Oh, Look takes back Sade Marquez. Look at that. To Giro. Whoa. Oh, the that was so close. That's it. I mean, if you have Ibrahimovic, is nice. If you have Giroud, is even better. Great, great shot. I mean, that's it. You have, you cannot concede that mistake. Uh, last time, uh, La Casa were lucky not to concede the second goal. He's still alive. He's still with chances to equalize the game. Exactly. So that's the main important thing right now. 30 more minutes to go. Hernandez. The day left. The attendance for this match was Sané. Back to Sané. Sané. Look at Shoots that. the ball. Oh, was that? Was that? Yeah. Who touched the, who Mane. Was the final? Touch? Mane. Okay. Mane. Yeah. Is that a goal kick? Yes. <laughs> Unlucky. But that's happening. He was making the move not to try, you know, yes. to move the defender. Oh, there's a corner. All right. So even corner better. Bayern. Even better. Sané. Chance for La Casa. Oh, look at that. And it goes in goal! For Bayern! The North American equalize! Goretzka equalizes the game, 1-1. One, one. Great corner kick, great response. Every situation matter. Every set pieces are so important. Great, great goal, and in what a moment. Oh, he knew that, he knew that, like Hazard. Goretzka scoring a header. No, you know, sometimes you, you look for the, your better header people, kind of uh, yeah. the light, the Pamecano. You know, trying to surprise everybody with Goretzka. Great, well done, well done. 25 minutes remaining. This is what we want to see. Oh, for sure. What a final. That's why they are the best two players around the world. They have response for every situation. Right now, 1-1, one, one, and everything is still for the side. Kick off by AC Milan. Ooh. From Chao to Tonari. High pressure now for La Casa. He has the Benacer. momentum, he has the chance. Usare Marquez, Dest on the right side. To change everything. Intercepted by Mane. Look at the... Mane to Coman. Coman dribbling the left side. Looking Coman for looking for a co cross. Oh, look at the rebound. All right, all right. We still have one second the chance. Out of bounds. If he consecutively make one to pass it right now, he's going to be open for cross. Great anticipation. No. Davis. Davis. Oh. oh, that was a poor. The angle defect surpassed it. The lines up. Ball for El Mysterio. Who quickly goes high. Doesn't wait any moment. Look at Julio that. Messias. Leo. La Ferrero. La Ferrero Leo. He's free. La no. Oh. Cancelo. Cancelo. Super defense. When everything looks like it was going to be a pass to the goal for Giroud. Cancelo made a fantastic run. Dest, Sade Marquez. Dest, Sade Marquez. Great ball. To the left side, to the left side, Leao. 
Great block. Oh, look at that. Ooh. That was a nice defense by Bayern. Cancelo. I don't know. I believe Goretzka takes it. Their hair right right now has to be so high. Sane to Kuman. Ten minutes Mane. left. Musiala. La Casa. Kuman. It is offside. Oh, it is. seven minutes remaining. 1-1. One, one. Look at that. Still a time. Menyan, goal kick. Davis takes the ball. No. Passes to Lidic. Hernandez. El Misterio waiting the oh. moment for those like this one. Close to, oh. took bad the ball. La Casa who wants to take the initiative to try to build up from behind. He wants a good chance. He wants to make it perfectly and he's Goes having it right on. now. Come Last on. chance of the final. Care takes this. Maybe we have one more. It's a better, yes. one, better more minute, challenge one more minute. One more minute. Rafael Leao. It will be for the American. Sane takes it. It will Tomorrow. be for the American. Money is free. Money is free. What? Oh. oh, the shoulder chair of Dio was clinical. And it's the end of the second half. 1 1. So what a go moment. To extra Look time. at those faces. Oh, they were like, <laughs> what a moment. It was close. But we're still there. Extra time of 15 minutes each. Second extra time for El Mysterio. Of this knockout. So El Mysterio has a little bit of experience here on stage for the overtime. So. Uh -huh. But the moment I believe right now is for La Casa. No? I mean, El Mysterio uh, made everything well the first half, but the second half was completely for La Casa. Yeah. So right now, it's more than the momentum than the experience. No, But the I momentum, see. let's see, is keep like that or has changed. Kick off by Bayan. Des takes it for AC Milan. Hernandez. Well Cancelo done. block. Nakasa takes back the ball. De Ligt. Kimmich. Goretzka. Sane. Mane. To Coman. Back to Musiala. He Kimmich. has to restart a little bit. To the left side to Davis. The control will be difficult. Yeah, it was difficult. Benacel keeps the ball. Sometimes for those passes are difficult to play. Oh! oh. Sane. Oh, we still have a it's chance. It's an interception by Sane, but Hernandez takes it. Oh, Cancelo takes it back. To Sane on the right side. Sane uh -oh. to Goretzka. Cancelo takes it. Sane has it. That was a clear by Milan. Um, and a counter attack. You can feel the nerves, Sasha. I mean, who scores is going to be the champion. I mean, there is no time for more. Everyone is so, you know, excited to see. And that's the end of the first move. half of extra time. 15 more minutes to go for the second half. Now completely open right now. It is Sudan Mysterio because his formation is waiting back, trying to, you know, to take the ball and then make the contract. That let's see Maybe without those, those so chains. And Mysterio have a stamina on the left side of his formation with Brian Diaz and uh, Nete Hernandez. And, I, and, and the opposite for for uh, La Casa with the right back, uh, El Mavrawi Gravenberg, uh, who can join and help to the build up from the right side uh, a lot. Mavrawi is uh, like a really good right back for those moments because uh, have a great, great pass also and can join attack quickly. So that's a good uh, choice. Uh, let's see. The point like no have a striker. La Casa has, and Mane is quite, quite um, exhausted. And uh, no, not really good header. Uh, let's see. 15, Kick remain. Off my Leon Goretzka! Hernandez. Coming on the field is... To Brahim Diaz. Brahim Diaz to Hernandez. Oh, like that. Look at In that. To Giroud. Oh. Look, once, keep going. Once again to Giroud. Oh, 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 oh. Musiara. Oh, he's completely to alone. Come on. Come on. Against, but against nobody everyone. is helping. It's he's alone. Oh, look at that. Speed of Kalulu. Come on, still waiting yeah. for the support to come. Look at the pass. To Musiara. Offside. Back to Davis. It's okay, it's okay. No, it's in. It's onside. I know. No, was it offside? It was. Yes. Was Coleman the one who not? Mm. Free kick for Kalulu. I feel in the faces of everyone here the pressure, the tension. Because. Five more minutes. Musiara. It's going to be decided in a few seconds. Gravenberg. Money! No. 
Quickly go high, El Misterio want to have a less once more. Carabria, one minute to go, one minute to go. Carabria, Brahim Diaz. And he looks he will have the Hernandez. last one. The last one will be for Brahim El Misterio. Diaz. Hernandez. For the Brazilian. Brahim Diaz. Great Hernandez. build up, great build up. No, that one and was And it's enough. the end of the second half of extra time, so we go to penalty shootout. Once again, so we can say that the mobile world champion 2023 is going to be decided in a penalty shootout. Yes. I don't know. So intense it is. Let it end, please. Nobody say nothing from the stands. And let's enjoy the final. Oh, a miss for Bayern. Yes. Now the turn for El Misterio. Zero. Oh, also a miss. So. All right, nothing happened, no? Zero, okay. zero, both have missed, so. Coman. And a save. Also another miss. What's happening here? Three consecutive misses. They are winning so well at each other. Donati for AC Milan. Will he score the first goal? in this penalty shootout. And it's in! 1-0 for Milan. Three more to go. And still there, just one goal up. Third goal, third kicker. Musiala. Musiala goes in, 1-1. Oh, this is a completely mental game right now. As it, you have to be stronger than your opponent. Ben Acer. And it's, and it's deep! Still 1-1 one, one after three. Back to the beginning, Sasha. Two more to go. Mane. In, 2-1, Bayern. Fourth kicker for Milan, Kea. El Misterio with Kea. Right foot. In, 2-2. Sasha, what a moment right now. So this will be the decider. Will be the decider Kimmich. for both. Let's see. It's in. 3-2. So, now. If El Mysterio misses. It goes through La Casa. Now on Eva. It's in. 3-3. Three, three. Now we go to another round. Six is the kicker. La Casa with Joao Cancelo. Right foot. And, and it's, it's in. 4 3, Bayern. Another chance for Bayern to win. Another decisive, decisive moment for El Misterio. Brahim Diaz. Brahim uh, Diaz. It's in. 4 4. Suddenly, nobody pressure. misses Everybody's now. Like, Ooh, but Seventh kicker. Still the same. Davis for Bayern. Crucial moment. La Casa. This is all about, you know, this is like a chess game. Still thinking. That's it. There's three angles. You have now to Davis. choose the rogue one. And it's in. 5 4. Great choice. Great choice. I'm to be quiet, you know, those moments. At any time, Carabria. we could have a winner. For AC Milan. El Misterio. It's in. 5-5. Five, five. Yes, we go to the eighth kicker. Mental fight till the end. Gravenberg for... Gravenberg. For La Casa. For the North American. And, and it saves! saves! Now, if El Misterio scores, he will win. For the glory. For Ciao. the Brazilian. Tio for El Misterio, right foot. And will he score? And he and scores! It's El Misterio wins! Is the first mobile offline champion for EFA Ball. Congratulations! Huge, huge congratulations to El Misterio. Back to back winning on the penalty shootout. Showing how tough it is to beat him mentally at this stage. Take and, uh, your trophy! All right. It's his moment. Enjoy the moment, man. Okay. What a performance. <laughs> Wonderful.
Happy round of applause for our mobile champion of 2023. Woo! Okay. And everybody, let's give another round of applause to La Casa. Thank you so much for a wonderful match. Good job! <laughs> All right, congratulations! <laughs> oh gosh! So, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? É, eu estou muito feliz, eu estou muito emocionado. É uma partida muito difícil, mais uma vez decidida nos pênaltis. É muito emocionante. É... É incrível, incrível tudo isso. He feels super emotional, it's like a, you know, and a great moment. He he can't believe it. And uh, como era para para você o último penalti? Com o momento de tirar, que, que pensava por por tua cabeça? Olha, <risos> é muito nervosismo. É minha mão tava tremendo, não sabia para para qual lado cobrar. É é muito tenso as cobranças de pênalti, mas deu tudo certo. He was saying like, you know, I was so nervous, thinking out of stuff at the same time. Uh, you know, those moments, you know, it's like, uh, you know, that's it, no? And uh, para finalizar un poco, um, uh, ¿cómo has visto la partida? Tenías alguna cosa diferente para jugar contra la casa comparado al día de ayer? Sí, sí. Eh, yo opté por una formación diferente. Eh. No, no jogo de ontem ele conseguiu ser superior, né? Então eu tive que mudar minha estratégia e, e funcionou, né? Consegui sair vencedor. He said that he tried a different formation than yesterday to play against La Casa and obviously work in because he's the new crowned world champion on mobile. Uh, can I ask a question too? So at the penalty shootout, we saw until the eighth kicker. What was going through his mind when when the fifth kicker was finished and you know six seven eight what was he thinking ¿Qué, qué pensabas en el momento de quinto penalti sexto séptimo octavo Ten, te, sabías cómo 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 parar y ganar ¿Cómo, cómo, qué estabas no sé cómo lo, cómo estaba preparando el momento eh... É muito difícil, né? Penalty é são apenas três opções e é, para você acertar o, o pênalti também depende um pouco de sorte, mas eu estava optando por ficar só nos lados, né? E até acertar e quando acertei deu certo. Para um pouco certeza ou sorte? O que pensas? Olha, eu acho que um pouco de tudo. Um pouco dois. de tudo, né? Um pouco de tudo. Yeah, I was saying kind of, uh, as you say, no, you know, it's like he was trying to think about the idea, but it was difficult to really realize to where to shoot, to where to save it. Uh, they both, you know, were scoring close the, most of the goals. And uh, at the end, I was asking to him, was it was more like lucky or, you know, or on knowledge to where to save it? And he said, well, it's a bit of both, no? You know, at the end, at this point, you did lucky, but you need to know how to deal at this moment, so, yeah. <laughs> Who do you want to thank for this win? Para quem queres falar desta vitória? É o meu momento. Eu quero agradecer a minha família que me apoiou, os meus amigos, a minha equipe também, é, a todos que torceram por mim. Eu tenho certeza que todo mundo está me apoiando nesse momento. O Brasil é meus amigos da também, não só do Brasil, né, da, da América Latina. É, isso aí é por vocês. He want to, you know, to say thanks to the whole family, to his club, uh, to everyone who is rooting for him during this weekend, because he knows and they know how important is this moment for, for his life and for all them who really have been suffering, all the preparation, all the training he has doing to reach this level at this stage. All right, congratulations again, everybody. Another round of applause. Congratulations, <laughs> Brazil. Come this way. Come this way. We have our mobile winner. Yeah, now we have a winner. <laughs> but we have another one to wait.
That's right. One more to go. How are you guys feeling? Are you excited? Well, I don't know. If the mobile one is so intense, what's going to happen with the console? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can't hold my breath, I actually. Yeah. No, no, I completely. So until after this game, it's like, I want the next one right now. It's like, <laughs> what are we waiting for? You know? What are we waiting for? I don't know. You know? More enjoyment. Yes. And excitement. I mean, what a game, am I right? It, to go into the PK and then have it keep going and going and yeah. going until the very exactly. end, neck and neck. What an exciting match. Wonderful. You know, at the end, there's just little details who decide the champion. This time, it went to Brazil. Mm -hmm. It was a great final. All the players during the, the Mobile World Championship were really amazing. La Casa did a great, amazing performance. But you know, as we said before, mm -hmm. only one was going to grab the title. And yes. That's it. OK. Shall we right. go to yeah. the booth Why don't you go for ahead the and uh, console final? That's Alex, right. let's go. Time to don't go. Get comfortable. Hey, it's all yours now. Are Time you all ready? Let's go. All right, last match of EVE Football Championship Open 2023 World Final for console, we have Zelo versus Woody. From Poland, Zelo! Thank you, Kate. So it's the championship decider for the console. Zillo against Udi. Which All right, is the same. Poland against Japan, which yes. is the same. Bayern against Manchester United. Exactly. So um, starting from uh, Zillo, 16 years old. Yep. Very, very uh, calm, uh, playing for Ace Monaco esports. Um, uh, that's why I've seen a lot of FC AS Monaco shirt around here. Yeah. That's why, that's why. <laughs> a lot of people, there's still people rooting for, for Zillo. I think uh, the Europeans and his teammates, yes. people from AS Monaco here in Japan. But the other, in the other hand, you know, everyone wants a victory for, for Rudy. But you never know, it's just yes. one game and everything could happen there. Uh, so, what kind of a match do you expect? Well, I think it's going to be different, slightly different for both of them. Uh, we've seen uh, Zillo taking a great advantage of his position of his Amy F of Musiala against Franchino in the semifinal. On the other hand, we've seen also Udi taking a great advantage on, on Anthony with, that, yes. in, in, sorry, with Stanisic. Uh, have you seen right now uh, that this time it will be Lucas Hernandez against his, um, yeah. Anthony? I, I think and yeah, Rashford was also good. I, I think Zillo with his crew hard made their the homework, but I don't know, that's the plan, but you have to put it into the game, so this com is completely different, so let's see. Can we say that they are both aggressive in their playstyle? Uh, no, completely no. I mean, Zero is a full-time attacker. I yes. mean, he's looking for the goal at every time, quick passes. On the other hand, Udi are look more for a balanced game, try to not to concede any spaces, mm -hmm. more defense, and then build that from behind, like a ball, con ball, ball, long ball counter. It is like the main, and uh, it's completely different. And wh what I've seen, the same as previously in semifinal during the whole tournament, if Udi takes the lead, it's very, very difficult to stop him today. Okay, so uh, in terms of points, I think it, the first goal will be really crucial, yes. of course, but uh, for Zillow to win, what will be the key play, or key pl who is, will be the key player in his, uh, you know, Bayern squad? I think right now it's to keep being himself. I, I've seen Musiala was a really important one on, on semi-final. Uh, so the way he used Mane, the way he, he can take advantage of his speed, mm -hmm. uh, also could be very important. But I, I will go further just the point to how to stop Anthony, mm -hmm. because Anthony really destroyed uh, Elgacor in the semi-final. Yes. So I think uh, he has, they have something prepared. I don't know. Let's see. But that's going to be the key points, no? I mean, the, the 1v1, the matchups, the that challenge between defender and attackers, or how they 
you know, open the defenders of uh, the defense of their opponent with his formation. That's gonna be so so interesting to watch. Anyway, you know, just one game. Uh, at the end, you have to be yourself as much as possible. Obviously, taking care of the stronger point of your opponent, but you have to give yourself your best. I mean, Zero, he knows how to how yes. to play. I don't know how he's going to be uh, controlling, managing this, you know, atmosphere of of, of greatness we are having yes. right now, and also the same for Udi. So uh, it's all about in a few minutes. Uh, it's all about you know uh, to go and make your best ever game on Ipopo. So for uh, Zillow, um, it, it's clear that Anthony is dangerous. Mm -hmm. And uh, will Udi use Anthony still as an option or will he go with another player? Because he will know that Zillow will defend or will chase Anthony not to control the game. I mean, you know, you never know. I mean, it's sometimes difficult to predict was the key points of the player? I, I think looking now at the formation, as we see, they both have switch formation. For example, uh, uh, Udi is still looking to have a matchup Stanisic with uh, Anthony, but this time mm -hmm. Stanisic will be the right side, yes. and uh, Anthony in the left side of Udi. But at the same time, you know, this is like a chess, you know, they both trying to equalize the problem to trade, you know, to surprise each other. They both still change information, which is so interesting to see because normally you know you have a, you have a, your own formation right. and you go like Fixed, that till right? the end. Yes. So that's so cool to watch. Both are uh, seems to be close to be ready. Udi, as we said, Four scored three. twice with Sancho, yes. but Sancho now on the right side, all right, like a right forward, and here we go. So it's the final of the console for 2023 eFootball Championship Open so World Everybody finals. ready. Will be a great next final possible here from Japan. Silo versus Udi. Bayern against Manchester United. Kickoff by a Bayern for Silo. And here we are in the finals. Bruno Fernandes for United to Rashford. Udi controlling the game. Rashford on the right side. Rashford. Rashford passing. And it's in. There was no time for response. I mean, kickoff going to the side, rush for one, two touches, then a standing double tap cross and goal. You know, two minutes and 25 seconds. There's no better way to start your final. After I'm feeling Sasha. I'm feeling the boost that Udi is having right now. You know, yeah. every situation, the, the the people is behind you. Every chance, you know, you are feeling their power behind you and. Uh, Fantastic, Jadon Sancho once again. I don't know what's going on with Jadon Sancho and Udi. Wonderful cross and a beautiful goal. Well, what a way to start. We said it's better to not to start losing against Udi. And here we are. Yes, after two minutes. Making changes? Uh, it looks like uh, Udi thinks is changing something. Is it Zillow? Yeah, same as before. I mean, when, oh. he's, when he scored, he... Okay, that's Udi changing his system. Yeah, no, I mean, it's an advantage that I, I could not see. On live stream, sometimes Lindelof. it's difficult. Mane takes it back. No. Bruno Fernandes to Lindelof. Bamecano. Kimmich for Bayern. Sancho takes Sancho. it back. Fred to Sancho on the left side. United attacks. Sancho. Sancho to Fred. Fred back to Sancho. Sancho on the left side. Sané okay. chasing. Oh, they're still on defensive. On blue Two bar. against one. Kimmich takes it. Kimmich to Ted. Sunny. Was not a good pass. Nah. Anthony. Zillow already is not on the game. I mean, that was a poor pass. Musiala pushing, takes pushing it. Udi. Mane to the left side to Musiala. But an out of position. No, no support from Musiala. Lind. To Mane. Mane. Great blow by Casemiro. You have to avoid Casemiro at those situations. It's Lynch. so strong. Musiara. Ah, oh, that was too. Yeah, this this time was better weak. to make against the long one. Because, oh, he switched from the L1 triangle to the triangle, and uh, this time wasn't the best decision. Building up from the defender. Udi Sorry. waiting behind as he loves to Bruno not to concede in spaces. A long ball to the front. Look Rashford at those. rushes. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Cleared by Bayern. Fred takes it. Look Sancho. at this chance. It's a good one. 
to Rashford. All right, we're going to go into the corner. For First Rudy. corner of the game for Rudy for Manchester United. How important is, I say it again, start leading, having the ball, having the game on your position where you want to be so right will now. this be a counter-attack by Sané to Mane? Mane. Look at, look at the positioning of the Dale defender. is waiting. Udi, they are all together behind. It's perfectly. There's no chance to make the counter-attack. His low ball counter strategy with the blue bar. It's Mane. Mane shoots! They have kept Great it. save by David De Gea. We said yesterday the most important thing or the most difficult thing is to be the best defender. I believe Udi completely understand that role and uh, he made fantastic. Mane back to Musiala. Kimmich. That's a good one. Tell. Eh? Tell. Not a good pass to Musiala. Great marking by Juan Bisaka. Anthony. Anthony. Rashford back to Anthony. Great ball. To Sancho. There's a great chance. Oh, Sanisic. Great, great position. Great block. But the John Defender. Once again to Sancho Bayern. on the left side. Sancho. Sancho. Sancho will become crazy Stanisic. Mm, that was not so. Now at those moments it looks like we're gonna, it's going to change the rhythm of the yeah. game. 30 because minutes, 15 more minutes to go in the first half. Those, those long chances with not really much, uh, I mean, real uh, attacks is where, you know, you start to think about what to do. From Tell. Look to at Mane. this one, the Mane. rebound, Mane, Mane. Oh, What a defense by Varan for Manchester United. I mean, that was great. critical. It was obviously it is. But Udi solved it perfectly. Rashford to Bruno Fernandes. Uh -oh. Luciana takes it, that's a chance. That's down a chance screen. for Bayern. Mane. Ooh. Ooh. Sane was completely alone down screen. Sancho. Zilo didn't saw it on time. De Ligt. Back to Soma. Clears the ball. Tell the plan is still the same. Uh, Zilo trying to take the initiative and, you know, Udi waiting his moment to build up uh, one of his famous counter-attacks. Pamecano. Blinded. Luciana. Great standing to pass. Francis Sane. Ah, great. Oh, too weak. Great prediction with Lindelof. Look at this one. Because I made a good one. And it's Zillow. good. Ooh, doesn't go to Tell. Oh, tell oh, tell oh, takes oh. it back. I no, it's a foul. I think, yeah. And it's a yellow card. I think it wasn't enough. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, he had the boat get it back. But he once pushed the, um, you know, the shoulder charge. Oh. Make, we uh, bring you know. Sancho a little bit back. Oh my goodness! Anthony too, a little bit defensive. I, I haven't seen. <laughs> All right, I, I know, I know. It's like he's preparing the sub tactic, so that's why when he's defending, defending, he's using the sub tactic to have uh, to move from four three three to four five one. So that's why every time he goes to defense, uh, he's um, you know dominating the spaces. Three more minutes, like Mane. right now. Look at this. Running right up now. the left side, Mane running up. Passing to Musiara. Oh, the rebound. Fred takes it. Anthony on the right side. The style of Uli United. is given to him. Hernandez intercepts. The lead right Musiara. now. One more minute to go. There Mane. One minute, one minute of additional time. Musiara. Musiara. Now. And across. And it's a corner. All right. One more already. One more for Zilov. So it's pretty key out the idea for Udi when he's 0-0. Zero, zero. Keep playing with his main 4-3-3 formation. If he's winning, go back to the sub-tactic 4-5-1. And, you know. And the kicker will be Sané. Here we go. No, nope, changes to Kimmich. Could happen anything in this corner kick. The final play of the first half. Great predict with the keeper. Still remaining. Oh. Kimmich to tell A bicycle. No. And it's so the end of the first half. 1-0 for Manchester United. So, Udi leads. Alex. Udi say, oh, 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 say like, like, like this in the head. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know how important it is, this result, the momentum. Uh, you know, yeah, like approaching, that pace in the last uh, 45 for minutes, winning, no? And uh, well, let's take a look. I mean, at the moment, Udi, uh, Silo is close to find the space to make a clear attack, but finally not, no? So it's difficult, you know, to pass the defense of, of, of Udi, as everybody has suffered during the whole tournament. 
So it's the second half. Now we switch the screen. So the red one is Manchester United, Udi, and the white team no, no, is Bayern. The red one is Bayern and white is United. It's like, uh, yeah. As oh, yeah. They have changed their colors, but it's, it's still like that. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. So Udi with a white shirt and the uh, red one is uh, okay. Zillo, the Poland one, the, the Polish one. Okay. Sancho. Um. So this is Sané for Bayern. Ento shoots! Still Mane. Mane holding. Van Bissaka for United. Other side to Sancho. Sandro Martinez. Rashford. Rashford to Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes to Rashford. Back to Rashford. Soma takes it. This is Hernandez. Lin for Bayern. Kimmich. Zido needs an equalizer. Sane to oh, Tim. We were saying Udi was controlling the game, was controlling his paces. But you know, the very first time that Silo has passed that defense line of 4 5 1, he made it. Tail. Oh, amazing. 30 minutes to go. And it's a tie. And I hear more, more applause than I expected from, the, from this room right now. Yeah, well, it was a wonderful play by Zilo and. I'm really surprised how calm and how, how I mean, mature he is. When you, know, when you are a spectator, when you are a player, also you love to see offensive players, no? As Zillo, no? I mean, uh, obviously, he is completely worthy. The way is, uh, Udi is playing until right now is completely uh, beating everyone. So, but let's see, you know, this is the final. Everything has changed. Look now, the sub tactic of, of uh, Oh, he's bringing back the players to the front. Exactly. But this is the sub tactic. He's changing in game. So, right now, he doesn't need to defend anymore. Right. So, that's why he goes back offensive. And I mean, I mean, you know, it's a different moment right now. Udi has to go back to, you know, to be more, you know, effusive in their build-ups, in their attacks, not to wait too much because he has feeling Zillo has the way to make him suffer back in defense. Marshallton. Savitza is also in. The attendance for this match was 72,306. 30 minutes to go. Sané. Fred takes it for United. To Rashford. Udi. Ooh, Not a good, a good pass line. to Marshall. Stanisic. It's completely open this grand final. Musiara. Both of them are doing a great, great game. De Gea clears the ball. Not for Anthony. Oh, that's interesting to see. Out. Now Anthony is in the side of Lucas. Let's see if Anthony could have uh, the same you know, the strength that he had before. And we know Udi. From Sabitza back to He's Bisaka. super great, great player. And uh, let's see. Mane. Ball Across, goes, ooh, doesn't what? go through. Casemiro. Strange situation, that one. What will he do? From the, oh, that was a poor pass to Mick Kimmich. Uh oh. Casemiro tell, out of position. Tell to Mane. At one triangle. Back oh, to Tell. No, was a triangle Aran. this time. This time was a triangle. Hernandez to Musiara. Tell. Will he score another goal? Savitza takes it back. Udi. Anthony on the right side. And there's nobody close to buy. Great pass to Rashford. For Udi. Rashford goes. 3v3. No, not now. Oh, what to pass Fred. On top to of the Fred. To oh, Udi. Oh, go. Oh, two, one. United. Anthony Martial, the standard car for Udi. <laughs> two, one. Manchester United. From the right side to the left. One, two passes, and then finishing what that amazing stunning shot at first time shot with Martial. Uh, you know, simply Martial. amazing. Martial scores. Anthony Martial. You can see at home, I know. He's having Zillo, the support from the three times world champion of Maccabi, his teammate at AS Monaco, and his brother, his team, did so nice. You know, like, it's like 
this is like a family also, you know, to, to feel, yes. you know, people. Now uh, we see another change like trying, this you know, time. To support you at this time. Yes. It's a different moment. Is everything still there? Uh, right. We say now. Uh, Udi's will again be with the full. Team. I mean, if Udi was defending, defending so high before, even now, it's just, it's just uh, the ending of the game. He will do it even more like that. What do you see? By Joao Cancelo will be Zilo? back for Silo and Kingsley Coman. Uh, like substitution, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, I think Cancelo could give uh, to Zilo what he needs, that, that those passes you know, to make the difference. On the other side, I think Udi will kind of repeat the same strategy, you know, try to be back mm -hmm. together with us, those 4 5 1 formation. And, uh, and then let's take a look. It's Coman is in. In game, both players. And for Luciana, Cancelo is in. 20 minutes to go. From Blind, Stanisic. Second time in a row that Udi is taking the lead. Marshall. Number 22. To Rashford. Fred. To the right side. Nobody's there. The lift. To Kimmich. Come on. On the right side. Cross. Oh, the prediction. Oh, my goodness. What's close? The hair punches. Save today, Blind, Cancelo. Blind back to Cancelo. To Mane, to Tell, and he shoots. What is it? Two, two, another in Cancelo. Look at that first time shot with the Tell. What was that? I mean, it was a completely not the best position ever for for, for shoot like that. And yeah. What a goal! Completely unexpected for, for your opponent, and that it was. Unbelievable. 2-2 two, two after 77 minutes. It was a great chance. Cancelo gave him, you know, that stamina, that, you know, that lucky to get him. That rebound a little bit, this one, you know, this one. He make turn, pass. That rebound was clinical. And then, you know, from just the line outside the box, boom, you know. Wow, what a goal. Wow. With no time for response, here it is. The equalizer once again for Zillow, for the Polish teenager. What a strong mental by the 16-year-old. I mean, you know, no effusive, no reaction. <laughs> I haven't seen if he has celebrated or not the goal, but you know, he knows he's in a moment. They have to be focused. Udi, once again, moving forward. His sub-tactic, uh, still on low, uh, low by counter. Martial in the left, Rashford, Anthony, Savitzer, Amy F. Uh, well, he's using also this moment to think about but also his opponent, Zillo, can have a, a think about how it's going to be the next minutes, how you can prepare the kickoff, especially Udi. So I think it's, those moments are not necessary, but sometimes it's going so well for both of, of the of players. Yeah. 12 more minutes to go. Kickoff by Manchester United. Casemiro to Fred. Oh. Misses the ball. Uh oh. Marshall. Rashford. If he Fred. goes through, it's a good pass. And it's a and to Rashford. Look at the people enjoy a maximum this final. I think it was a little bit a um, uh, mistake from Zillow to not to be accuracy with the interception bottom. He pushed it too early, and that's why the animation uh, you will see of uh, I think it's the line was quite bad. Look at that. He wasn't following quite well the run of Rashford. And you know, when you made uh, those mistakes, Udi, you know, cannot miss it. That's why we are at the final stage, grand final of the World Final 2023, and you cannot miss that, those details, you know, that makes a difference. We have so far five goals. And we have the same final. Let's <laughs> check another position change or. Chu promoting for uh, Zillo. promoting in for in Bayern. Instead of Tail. And uh, I think Udi is thinking to switch uh, Anthony. Now is the suck tactic another, ball is yeah, behind. Defensive trying mode. to defend as much as possible. Four five one. Look at there, you know the friends, the people behind uh, Zillow yeah. trying to you know to give him ideas. Four three four uh, four two four. Excuse me, for Zillow trying to get superiority really offensive. on really the left offensive. side. And, uh, yeah, you, know, you have to do something. I mean, you know, yeah. Woody will do, will do whatever to defend the result. And uh, you have to risk now. I mean, yeah, that, we only have 10 it. minutes to go. Exactly. There's no time for more than three, four real chances. So that's it. 
Look he at needs to score maybe the only chance he has in 10 minutes, right? Look at those lines of Woody. It looks difficult to go wow, through. Wow, one. That's like four. <laughs> five, five, one. one. Five, I don't know. But I altogether. never saw this before. No, yeah. It, so I mean, you, know, you have to win. You have to, you know, race card as less as possible and not to let your opponent, you know, to have advantage in any any part of the, of the pitch. So how many players will be in Udi's defensive line? I mean, all together it'll be like nine or ten players yeah, yeah, yeah. in the same line. That's nah, a for good both thing. Teams. Udi, I mean, that's why I love the Japanese ways to play, kind of. Uh, they play differently than the rest. I mean, he used to play the whole game with the sub tactics, you know, to show your opponent the way he's playing. You know? so it's like he's trying to hide during the whole tournament his formation. Obviously, he's playing on the stage, you know, but at the real time, when you are playing there, hearing everything, you don't really see what he's changing, you know? So that, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, that's what the game gives to you. There's different resources, you know? So you can use it. And still he's changing. using so, so nice. Now, you look at... Who is still changing? He's, like, uh, thinking about if he should do, like, a, a bit more offensive... Uh, Both bus. players know this is a really crucial moment. Yeah, I mean, Udi is trying maybe to protect even more the center. I don't know. I think he's feeling that uh, those true strikers, that's why he have Fred and Casemiro as DMF to try to protect those run of, uh, I see. of both the strikers of Zillow. And uh, that's it. Oh, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's everybody trying to, you know, <laughs> to give advice yeah. so, to both players. <laughs> Udi's like, what about what, that? What, what, what? what I should do? Yeah. But, you know, at this moment, everybody could be so nervous. You know, I mean, they are, I mean, just in a few minutes, we're going to know who is going to be crowned as yeah. the new eFootball 2023 world champion. But don't forget, if Zillow scores, we may go to the extra time. That's it. That's so, for sure. And then in that case, it's not going to be in a few moments. It's going to be longer. Yeah, it's, it's, so, getting, it's getting long, this pause. You know, that situation is difficult to deal with because uh, you can freeze yourself, lose the momentum. And uh, I don't know. Seems uh, still Udi's thinking. Still thinking, moving, changing. I don't know. Let's go. Let's right go. Uh, here we go. Let's go. Game is back. Substitution coming in. Berlin. Shubomoting is in. Kickoff for Bayern. Zillo to Shubomoting. Shubomoting on the left side. Shubomoting. Shubomoting. Across. Uh, we have a corner. corner. Nine minutes to go, and we have a corner for Bayern. At this moment, anything is possible to have uh, the equalizer. Kimmich. Look at this corner kick. A little bit short. Both Cancero players. takes it. Hernandez to the left side. Kimish still remaining. Ooh, it's a cross the tail. Oof. That was a wonderful clear. I mean, the, the first pass was, was fantastic, but there, there were nobody to receive that header. So, but it was a nice try. Nice try anyway. Seven minutes remaining. Going to maybe. Still waiting. The header. Looking for the header. A long throw. To Shupamoting. Great one. To Mane. Well defended by Fred. Stanisic. Coman. Five minutes ago. And it's Rashford. Taking back the ball for United. To Savica. Savica holding the ball. Trying to gain some. Coman no, takes it back. Seconds, minutes. To Tell. To breathe Second a little ball bit, goes to United. Varan. Back to De Gea. One more minute. Lindelof. Martinez. De Gea. There will be five minutes, five minutes of additional time. Anthony. Long ball. Soma takes it. This will be a moment for Bayern. All the ball goes to be out. Yeah. Balls out. That was a mistake by Zillo. Anthony takes it. Passes. Hernandez takes it. Back to Zoma. To Kimmich. Cancero. I think. Ooh. Juan Bisaka takes it. Udi having his 30 hands. seconds to, to go. Sure to be the champion. De Gea. That's going to be four players. Yes. 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 Manchester United wins 3 to 2. <laughs> and Udi is the champion for Kanso. Congratulations, Udi wins here in Japan, <laughs> in his home soil. Okay. Uh, everybody stay off the stage. <laughs>
Awesome. Everybody, Woody, please grab your trophy. Woody, son, trophy. Don't take the side. Woody, Woody, son, don't take the side. Watch your head. But you can take the side. Sashi, son. ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、ジロ、
popular here in Japan. I want like Japanese e uh, eFootball Pro player. And uh, in online, we are three years in a row the champion Japanese. So we want to show that the Japanese are the best. And uh, yeah, and I want eFootball to be more, you know, more popular and more big here in Japan. Uh, that's my goal. Yeah, and I want to thank for that. That's nice. <laughs> okay, let's call the mobile champion to the stage. All right, mobile no champion, we'll be Please. Enemy Stadio, back on stage. Two trophies. All right, everyone. The E Football Championship Open mobile champion is Elmi Stadio. And your console champion is Woody! Give them both a big round of applause because they are your 2023 champions! Woo! Huge congratulations! <laughs> oh. So this concludes the eFootball Championship Open 2023 World Finals. Thank you so much to everyone who participated, and of course our players and everyone watching. We will see you all at the next E Football event. Sayonara! Arigatouzaimasu! Sayonara! Sayonara! Goodbye! Thank you for watching! Adios. Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> Matame! <laughs>